Okay, let's get started then with day 15. <sighs> day 15 of Pride Month. Uh, I have taken at this point two days off, but that's okay. Because I'm still amazing in every way. Uh, okay, hold on. Heart gold isn't working. Right, there we go. <laughs> Just not getting feed through from that. It, it, it crashes sometimes. Did I put the timer on the counter on screen? I knew I'd forget. I knew I'd forget. Okay, there we go. Kai Rectangle, hello. Hello and welcome in. Welcome into day three of Mewtwo. This is the day. This is the day. Okay, it might not be the day. It might not be the day. But you never know, right? It might be the day. Okay, my encounter thing is working. I think everything's working. I don't think I've forgotten anything. I'm just psyching myself out. I sat there for so long before stream trying to figure out what I found. Still rooting for Heart Gold Mewtwo. I am also, like, okay, I'm not rooting for it in terms of, like, obviously I'd like Pokemon Blue, that's unique, that's interesting. But Heart Gold Mewtwo is the easiest to catch by far. <laughs> Heart Gold Mewtwo is, like, free. Okay, none of them. That's unfortunate. So all of the other ones do have Master Balls, don't get me wrong, but I'd rather not use the Master Balls if I don't have to. But Heart Gold Mewtwo is like, trivial to catch. Pokemon Blue Mewtwo is not too bad either, but he could just crit kill Cantipop before he can do anything about it, so... I can't rely on anything in Pokemon Blue. Oh, that's the thing I should check, I guess, huh? Hold on. I've just been wondering about this for a while. Okay, no. Everything's set up properly. No, no, that's exactly what I wanted to not happen. That's exactly what I was trying to prevent. How foolish of me. Sometimes it reads them all in as the same feed. It's very frustrating. Okay, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted to prevent. That's exactly what I went to the menus to be like, oh, I'll fix that, I'll make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Yo, welcome in, Jim Jam. Okay, real talk, actually. If I were to leave these guys on screen, are they super distracting? They definitely are, yeah. Okay, in into the abyss they go. Right? They aren't distracting? Nah, the Obstagoon in particular, the fact that it sits on top of Crystal bothers me. Like, it means that if Crystal shines, you won't be able to see it fully. Well, there's nothing annoying about that. To explain what just happened there, this is the light that I have set on top of my monitor. As you can see, this is the base it uses, <laughs> and my monitor is really thin. So I just balance this precariously using the powers of uh, center of gravity. <sighs> I just hope it'll stay up there. That's why it's fallen off a few times. The problem is, when it does that, has it moved my webcam? No. For once it did not. Okay. Look, this is a very professional stream, okay? This is very professional. That's why I'm dressed like a maid. Only professionals dress like maids. Bothering the hell out of me now. Okay. No, I don't mind having them there for the Fool's Gold Nuzlocke, but I feel like for this, they just... The fact that they can sit on top of a Mewtwo is what bothers me. I don't wanna- I don't wanna hide the shiny one, you know? That's my only worry. Implying we will see a shiny one. Especially since you can add as many drawings as you want, theoretically. Hello, Ravine. Welcome in. 
How are you today? I didn't ask anyone else that, I'm realizing. How is everyone today? I swear, it's not just that Ravine's my favorite. I'm just forgetful. It's far more pressuring to just ask one person as well. When you ask everyone and people don't reply, nobody notices, right? When you ask one person... <laughs> it's like, tell me. Tell me the intimate details of your day. Okay, how are you? I'm alright. I'm feeling... So, okay, I took yesterday off, right? Because... It was 6pm. And I would gotten up at 3. But by gotten up, I mean I was just lying in bed, unable to even, like, open my eyes. I was so tired. Um... Like, I was just absolutely exhausted, and it's like, I can't stream today. Like, stream yesterday, if I'd done it, I would've just been there, like... For five hours, and I don't think anyone wanted that. So I took the day off. And then, as soon as I cancel stream, as soon as I take it off, I can't sleep. <laughs> I can't get to sleep after that, and it's like, are you kidding? I couldn't keep- I couldn't even keep my head up, I was so tired, and now I can't sleep? Why? So as a result, I got some stuff done for future shiny hunting streams. I got, um, some stuff prepared. So at least that's something I don't need to do in the future and I don't need to worry about. Uh, so I took my day off doing work, I guess. If you can call this work. Can you call playing Pokemon work ever? I don't think you can. Gotta take care of yourself? True. You ask if I wanna just ignore it, but you ask me, you have to make up an answer. We're waiting, Ravain. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm alright, but I'm feeling still a little bit off. Cause I couldn't I couldn't sleep like at all. <sighs> Seven till twelve and I went to the New Asian groceries so are pretty good. Did you buy anything fun? No, I never forget. I, I'm like an elephant. Or a turtle. I, did, did turtles forget? I guess it'd be tortoises. I don't know. What interesting pear flavored ice thing? Ah, so like a frozen pear? A tremendous sniffer. I just see how happy I am that the Quebec panic got added, like, right away. <laughs> when I saw I had access to that on Discord, it was like... I double the amount of tiramisu by accident, so now the knowledge of having to eat it all weighs heavy on my poor soul. Ah, you see, the knowledge of having to eat any tiramisu would wear heavy on my poor soul, because tiramisu is awful. Like, it looks so delicious, and then you bite into it and you're like, ah, alcohol! It's like it should taste soft and fluffy, not like petrol. Just make it without alcohol? Well, you see, I've never had it without alcohol. <laughs> Do you know what says alcohol? I, I'm, it, it does whenever you order any in like a restaurant. Just bring your tea to me soon and be like, here you go, full of alcohol. Enjoy. It just looks like it should be so sweet, and then it's not, because it's full of alcohol. Being fancy? But... Clearly, I live I live a rich and, f and varied lifestyle, okay? Um, is my mic... I could maybe... I could move... I could bump it up. Or I could just tuck my chair in like a normal person, right? Well, now I've done both. You can't do both, Lottie. Can't do both. Okay. I think I've had tiramisu like once and it didn't have alcohol. What did it taste like? Was it good? Was it sweet? Was it soft? Because with alcohol, right? That that just overpowers the whole thing. And oh, I'd rather drink nail polish remover. Oh, it's coffee flavored. Wait. Oh. Sorry. It wasn't alcohol that was the problem. Never mind. I apologize. 
It was the coffee flavor. Never mind. All tiramisu is awful. Sorry. It's been a long time. I just remembered it tasted foul. I thought it was alcohol. No, it's coffee. Okay, that's why it was horrible. Sorry. I've spread misinformation on the internet again. <sighs> I didn't mean to. Yeah, coffee? Thumbs down. Thumbs down for coffee. In fact, I don't know if Cafe Nero exists outside the UK, but they are my mortal nemesis. Like, okay, Cafe Nero is like this chain of cafes. And it's like, okay, that sounds harmless enough, Lottie, so what is your burning issue? Well, you see, I went in there once, one time. Uh, because I was going on with a friend or something, I don't remember. That's not what's important to the story here. But I didn't really want anything they had until I saw, wait, they have a lemon cheesecake and i love cheesecake and lemon cheesecake is the best kind don't at me and i was like wait i can get a slice of lemon cheesecake and that sicilian lemon cheesecake was the best thing i've ever had in my entire life and even if i had children that wouldn't change it was so good and then i went in there again like a week later no cheesecake sold out so okay well, that's unfortunate. I guess I'll have to get something else. I go in like a month later. No cheesecake. Not even a spot for it. They've discontinued their cheesecake. They don't sell it anymore. Why? Several months later, I'm dragged in there by my ex. Who was not my ex at the time, but is my ex now. And they're like, Okay, well, you could try this. You could try this, um pistachio frappe. It's, it's like, okay, that sounds horrible, I just want to say, because no one likes pistachios. But I'll give it a try. I try it. It's the best thing I've ever had in my life, aside from the cheesecake. I'm like, oh my god. I judge them too harshly. This is amazing. We go in just a few days later, because we're in Edinburgh, and there's not really much else to do, apart from go to cafes. I order one. And I'm so excited to drink it. And they made it coffee based instead of cream based. So it is undrinkable and foul. Two times in my life they slighted me. Why did they do this? Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't think I rested very well yesterday because what the hell was that story? Tiramisu is the only thing I make with coffee because I don't drink it, but some people also make tiramisu with cocoa. I think that'd be really nice, but I don't even know anymore. I just I just simply do not trust tiramisu. It was targeted by the gods. It was just like, wow. It's like, well, I'm obviously not going to go up and say they made a mistake because that would be embarrassing. Like, if I go up and to say like, you know, oh, hi, uh, I think he made a mistake with my drink they would, you know, kill me and put me in the people blender. That's what they do. That's what they do in Cafe Neon. Remember, service staff are looking for any excuse possible to just reach over the counter and punch you. Some people like going in the blender. I, I don't want to go in the people blender. Okay, the people blender, where that came from, I, or at least in my life, I don't know if it's an actual thing. Because whenever I've said it, people haven't reacted like it's the most absurd thing ever. Um, is I said once that I didn't know my blood type. And I was like, is that a weird question to ask when I'm getting my blood taken? Because I was getting my blood taken. For other reasons. And I was just like, is that a weird question to ask? The person I asked said, Yes, Charlotte, that's a really weird ass question to ask. And what they will say is, no, you may not. That's a ridiculous question to ask. How dare you ask that? Just for that, I'm going to put you in the people blender. <laughs> it's just kind of stuck with me as like, anytime I am awkward or anxious in a social situation, I imagine it's because I'm afraid of them putting me in the people blender. <laughs> I 
I couldn't possibly tell them they got my mail wrong. They'll put me in the people blender. I couldn't ask for help finding an item in the supermarket. They'd put me in the people blender. Have social anxiety is the same to an extent. See, I'm glad. That well, okay, I'm not glad you relate. <laughs> now hold on, that that word choice was maybe a bit strong. But uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. Didn't know my blood type until I got a blood test and I was 19. There was one document that my parents had that had my blood type on it, and that got stolen in the 90s. You had your blood type stolen. You weren't even allowed to know it. Burglars came into your house and went, Ha ha, blood type. I found my blood type last year. Well, okay, if I ever get my... If I ever have another, another blood test, clearly I need to ask. I said before the reason I, I was actually going to ask last time but I went along to get the blood test like to get the blood taken and they were like um well your your thing's not on the ice I was just like I don't know what that means and basically my my doctor hadn't put it on the website that says that I have to get it taken so but all they knew I'd just come in off the streets <laughs> I'd be like hello yes take my blood please like they had no idea who I was they just knew I had an appointment it's like, alright, could you just take it anyway? No. So I had to phone up the doctor, have them put it on, go back later. It was a whole thing. And as a result, it's like, I don't really want to ask now. <sighs> like, that whole situation was bad enough. It's like, goodness knows when the next time I'll get the opportunity will be. <sighs> I only pinned that for 20 minutes. My existence is a sham. I just noticed at the corner of my eye, I was like, something changed in chat. And it's like, ah, oh, I only pinned this to make sure my donate link for 20 minutes. I forgot to change it. If someone wants to do exclamation mark donate for me, I'll pin that again. I would do it, but it would move the number of encounters. You know, so I'm really lazy. Thank you, Kai. Thank you kindly. Okay, I gotta ask. I gotta ask. What's with the rectangle? Are rectangles your favorite shape? I've been wondering for a while now. I don't know if it's just because I'm like a maths nerd and I like like shapes as a result, but <laughs> it, it, if I mean maybe that's just your full legal name, right? Maybe you're just called Kai Rectangle, and I shouldn't be asking. But I I was personally curious. Is this really quiet? A little bit quiet. It's a little bit quiet. Yeah, that'll do. Triangles are actually your favourite shapes. His name is a curse. Triangles are a good shape to, ha to have as your favourite, I think. Like, triangles are solid. You know, there's three different kinds. You got your equilateral, you got your scalene, you got your isosceles. Do you have a favourite kind of triangle? Probably equilateral or isosceles, if I had to imagine. Nobody likes scaling triangles. I'm not even convinced that's what they're called. For all I know, I just made that up. What's with this polygonal talk here? Look, look. What's your favorite polygon, okay? Nobody asks adults what their favorite polygon is. It's all, how's the weather? What's your favorite... 
tax farm. Do you have children yet? It's never... What's your favorite dinosaur? What's your favorite polygon? Sometimes you get what your, what's your favorite color. English is my first language, let me check. To be honest, I don't I don't think scaling is the most common word anyway. <laughs> right? <laughs> Do you have children yet? Which is your favorite? Triangles are actually kind of evil? Why do you say that? I suppose triangles are always the villain in platforming games, right? There's never good triangles in a platformer. There's only bad triangles. Touching triangles does tend to kill you. Okay, come on. I figured it'd be equal. Like, they're just the best, right? Every side's the same? Yo! Isosceles is one of the only ones I can deal with. <laughs> you can't handle equilateral triangles or scaling triangles. They're not called scaling triangles, are they? What, what would I even Google? Type of triangle? I don't think they're called that. But they are. They are called scaling triangles. I know they are. I'm doing straw with triangles instead of regular lines. What? Like... What? Me personally, I don't fuck with equilateral ones. I'm trying too hard to be like the rest. Like, please, get some personality. I like equilateral triangles. They're super simple to work with. I don't know. Since these triangles are generally fine, scaling triangles, thumbs down. Do you think I remember Sokatoa? I don't. Like, I don't remember how you calculate stuff with a scaling triangle. Lottie Pocky! How are you, Pocky? How have things been for you? Have a hexagon, so what's people's opinion of them? If you think about it, isn't a hexagon just a bunch of triangles put together? Makes you think. Specifically six. Six triangles. Four times hunting. Yeah, I... Four times hunting in, in four different generations! It's random. I just wanted to change my online name to Kai because I really am non-binary and this is the name I settled for. Kai Rectangle? You know, rectangles are pretty non-binary. There's four of them in the non-binary flag when you think about it, so... That makes sense. Been good, what about you? Um, I've been alright. I've been overworking myself a little bit. I've been trying to take it a bit easier, but I've been unable to do so. But overall, yeah, I'm alright. I'm alright. I've been going through a bit of like a, a mental rut lately. It's like I, I'm climbing back out, loving the outfit. Yeah, the the, lo the Lottie cosplay wheel got spun uh, yesterday. So today... We are wearing the pumpkin maid outfit. Why is my light so unreliable? <sighs> Hold on. I swear, it's normally fine. It's normally a good light. It's normally a friend, but not today. 
I just want to hunt Mewtwo, okay? I need you to stop, like, I need you to get over yourself, alright? Looks amazing. Thank you. I, I, I suit, I suit many much clothes. I am, I am amazing and wonderful like that. How did I fail the first shiny challenge, shiny Lottie? Wait, why? What have I done? Did I miss one? What's the first challenge? Did I fail? How did I fail? Do you have light problems? Oh, right, true. She will get the shiny? My gut is telling me she will? I don't know about that. Something about the way the light's bouncing off my face here makes it look like I've got like a swelling. I was like, huh, worrying, but no, it's flat. I blame the fact that I set up the light perfectly and then it fell over like five times. Like, I did what I could, you know? I don't know when, but she'll get it. You, th you really think it's gonna be today? I mean, we're, we're only just past half odds, you know? Like, and these take a while, though. Give very much spooky autumn vibes. It's perfect for June, right? Look, on the 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 cosplay wheel just now has Maid, Pumpkin Maid, Goth, Osha, and Zelda. Like Go for today is 50-50. Okay, well that means that if I don't get it today, I'll get it next time, right? That's how statistics work here. Yeah? I don't know why, but just to me personally, I think this is going to be a hunt that goes, um, that goes way over odds. You know more summery fruit maid costume? Melon maid cosplay? So, I don't know who suggested the pumpkin maid outfit, I can't remember. I don't remember who suggested it to me. But it was, even when I got it, it was like, after October. It was- it was never fitting. But I could do with- I could do with a melon maid. I just need- I need maids for all- for all seasons, right? Because we only have the pumpkin maid and the regular maid outfit. And there is nothing- nothing that's more hinged about an individual than having multiple maid outfits. That's normal. June can be October if you try hard enough. But like, October's spooky month and June is pride month. Is the regular made for winter or for spring? I think spring because spring cleaning. Right? We could definitely get a Christmas made outfit for winter. Like snowflakes on it and stuff. Every month is Pride Month? So true! <sighs> Dearling Lottie! <sighs> That'd be pretty real of me. Maybe I should get one for spring that's like just spring colors so that I can wear like... You can either have the regular maid outfit or the seasonal maid outfit. But instead of based on the real world seasons, it's based on what season it would be in Generation 5 at that moment. I call it just a celebration for Pride Month where they put up the flag, but it's in May since June we are off. That's pretty real though. Every month is Pride Month if you try hard enough, if you're proud enough. You just gotta be proud enough, and then every month becomes Pride Month. Everywhere has to do it. Everywhere in the world. I think if we spread out to May, it would, uh... be kind of tiring for me to stream for like two months straight, you know what I mean? Like, one month is already... is already enough. Till July when it becomes Wrath Month. 
See, that's the thing. Wait, maybe maybe what I need are made outfits that represent the seven deadly sins. I need my black and red wrath one. My bright green envious made outfit. I'm pretty sure I could find one that suits lost. Something played IRL at campuses. Oh, like like in May and June, or just May. I don't think my university did anything at all for it. Envy Maid is my drag name. <laughs> Actually, or like, because <laughs> you never know. Like that could be like that could just be like a one-off joke, or that could be a wacky coincidence. But yeah, I don't think my university ever did anything for Pride. Well, genuinely. I don't know if it's just because it's not as big a thing outside of the US, unless you're on the internet. But there were Pride parades and stuff in my city, where I lived. I have many names, I keep a list for this. Can we hear some of the best ones? Would you be willing to share? This, this sounds like it's trying to be Persona music, but isn't Persona music. Like, what? Oh, it's... it's. But oh, it's not over. What is this? Ah! Right, this is B-Jam Blues from Guitaru Man. Obviously. I love how- okay, so what I've been doing this whole event is I have just left my- I've left each- 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 each thing I've listened to, I've just left it open for the next stream. Just left it. And when I start the next stream, I just scroll down and I pick one we've not heard yet. So that's why we are deep in the rabbit hole right now. We are on Funky Game Jams Volume 1, and we are just gonna get further and further and further into madness. I think it's way funnier than than just sticking with the same ones like I was at the start. Kyle Mignon, like Kyle, Kyle Mignon. Gin tonic for play League of Legends. I don't play League of Legends. Um, thankfully, I, I I've not heard the I've not heard the greatest things about it. I hope everyone is having a good day. Uh, all of us are, especially Ravain, who did not make too much tiramisu. How are you, Lennon? Or should I call you McBoss? <laughs> I don't think I should, but the option's there. Maybe if I was dressed in like a uh, military outfit. Soon we will reach Animal Crossing songs that cause depression but only to horses. Look, I've been really trying to- I've been considering trying to find weird ones just by searching for them. Like, I don't- like, Pikmin music to make you feel really stressed out and anxious. It's like, maybe that'll exist, but... I'm just gonna keep going down the rabbit hole, okay? We had normal stuff at the start of the month. 
We're delving. I didn't make too much. Lemon is fine, or Morgan. Either is great. I could definitely try and remember Morgan. I could definitely try for it. You know what? I can do it for this stream, right? I can at least do it for this stream. And if I do it long enough, it'll stick. Everyday fright. Right, <laughs> it's further from the hinges. <laughs> Look, I, I, I'm wearing a Halloween made outfit. In June. Yes, and you look fabulous. My point was more that it's like we're already we're already halfway through. It's gone. There's no hinge. This door, no hinges. It's on the floor. <laughs> and coming up next, Nintendo songs for the times you open a tomato sauce can that was left there a bit too long. weird to think that like in just a few hours of having done this on the first day I'd seen more Mewtwo than I'd ever seen before in my life. Like, I've just artily inf artificially inflated the amount of Mewtwo I've ever seen. I've been asked a bunch, I apologize for how you gem on hunting and the checking the stats. Uh, I'm just guessing. I'm just, like, I'm just, I'll feel it. I'll just know. No, um, Nora, who organized this event, made a patch for the Generation 1 games that displays, in fact, I still have my Patus here. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do awful things if I try this. I really don't want to use that super potion, but whatever. As you can see right there, it displays next to Patus' name that it is shiny. This Patus was earned through legitimate methods, and I did not hack it in for the purposes of showing this off, which you can tell from it being a level 1 Patus in Gem 1. Oops. Um, yeah, so when Mewtwo appears in the wild, it'll have those three little sparkles next to its name, if it's shiny. So honestly, who's going to accept the first answer? <laughs> um, it's been asked a lot, and I've come up with a different lie every time. But okay, it's not been asked a lot, a lot, like... It's a valid question, it's worth asking. There is a second valid question that not as many people have asked because they've not realised that it's not a thing. But that's okay. Shiny based on the vibe? Yeah, like, I'll just, I'll, I'll know, I'll know. Okay, if we get to 8192, I'll just catch the one in Pokemon Blue and I'll be like, Woo! That's all we need, right? Vibes? It's Vibes Month. I also didn't know that Mewtwo wasn't even in Crystal. Shh! 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 <laughs> I'm getting away with it. Shh! <laughs> Some part of the other stream and I was fully believing. It just, it looks legit, right? The Crystal Mewtwo just looks legit. The thing that gives it away is that it yaps. If it didn't yap at you, if it just said Mew, I think people would believe it more. I, I don't think anyone would really question it at all. Then people would just be like, dang, I kind of forgot it was there. It's like in Gen 1, you've, you know, you've got Mew. In Gen 3, you've got Mew. In Gen 4, it doesn't say anything. And then in Gen 2, it's like, it has been many years since anyone saw me. Do not also make a mod that just spawns a shiny Mewtwo if you get 750 on the goal. Um, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, no, she did, she did do that, she did do that. Nora did do that, she did do that. Uh, she did, she did, she did do that, yeah. 
If we hit 750 on the gold, the Mewtwo, yeah, it does, it does spawn a shiny. That's, that's what she told me. Um, I'm not claiming that. I'd like to point out, I'm not claiming that. Nora claimed that. I didn't claim that. Right, that, that information, I, I'm just a messenger. I didn't claim that. Nora claimed that. Not me. <laughs> I probably wouldn't profess my nose has more than any other person trying to force new spawns on Route 2. Worth it though, right? For the... Tootle? I don't really know what you're going for. C C dot. I don't remember what's on that route. I'd like to apologize for how <laughs> for how obvious in retrospect <laughs> hindsight is 2020 and all that, right? obvious I'd be going for it there but all things considered it does I mean I really I really went to Tootle before I went to the Pokemon in your name huh what's everyone hunting lately good question what has everyone been hunting lately I never ask that I kind of forget other people put themselves through this for fun this is a thing people enjoy that's mad Imagine enjoying playing video games, that's crazy. It's not like I've- it's not like I get it now that I've been sitting here doing these full odds hunts and I've just been chill and vibing and just talking away. I don't- it's not like I understand now or anything. Don't worry about that. I- I don't get it. From Mawile through Masuda and Shield and Teensy Cutie Fly and Scarlet. Is oh yeah, there's a there's like tiny power, isn't there? Tiny. I was like, how do you do that? That sounds like miserable, surely. But you can. In well, maybe you're the kind of person that isn't increasing the odds on that, though, right? I was just thinking for a second. It's like it is a thing you can do. It is an option you have. Over a 17-ish year reclaim of the first shiny fail you ever had. Numblet, Stark Mountain, and Diamond. Only in two encounters in. What happened to it? How did you fail it? Also, huh? Pokemon Diamond is 17 years old, huh? Was HRT ever revived? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, HRT was left to rot. <sighs> um, because he died and it was kind of quote unquote my fault this time, uh, he was he was left dead. Which is unfortunate. But we did get a Charmeleon called a Charizard as the sequel, quote unquote. So that's something, right? Aging is hard. Look, it's it's like when people say that X and Y are ten years old. It's like, oh, okay, X and Y are ten years old, right? That makes sense. People say Diamond and Pearl are seventeen years old. It's just like, like I remember those coming out. <laughs> This is the first Pokemon games I remember releasing. All the other ones were just there. I just existed and they were in existence. But I remember those ones coming out and watching like, seeing like YouTube videos of the entire Pokedex, just people going through 
the Sugimori artwork of all of them, just with my mom and being like, "Oh, look, there's new Eevees! Ooh. I think it hunts. Do you think it evolves into Leafeon with a with a leaf stone? My mom would be like, no, because they would keep it consistent. And eventually, I was right. Eventually, they did that. But it took them a while, but they did it. I've been hunting Rookity recently because I'm doing a regular color max or min size with these great stats on Masuding. Uh, uh, this Mewtwo could show up and be terrible, and I would be like, cool. It's good to know that there's always there's always further layers for me to for me to descend to, right? I always think, oh, I'm doing full out hunt, so I've I've broken. I'm there. I'm in deep now. And then it's like, Lottie, are you taking part in Safari Week? It's like, no. I'm not that far gone yet. Maybe one day though. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, that didn't even scare me that much. Raposa with the five dollars. HRT shall live. Shall he? <laughs> is that just a? Is that just a rallying cry? Fingers crossed, right? Offer games have the same shiny chance? Uh, yes. And it is not because Nora modded them. So, in Generation 2, which was the first game to have shinies, in order for them to be backwards compatible, the way that they determined shininess on a Pokémon was by its IVs. Pokémon only have four IVs that can be manipulated in Generation 1, and again, in order to keep them backwards compatible, they still only have that in Generation 2. And those are the Pokémon's Attack, Defense, Special, and Speed. HP is determined as a combination of the other four, and therefore it doesn't actually um, matter in terms of that calculation, so you can just ignore it. How HP works is not really worth going into right now. So you can just think of it as attack, defense, special, and speed. And how they work is that the Pokémon needs to have exactly... Uh, they range from 0 to 15, so you've got 16 times. You need to have exactly 10 in defense, special, and speed, and attack can be... 2, 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 14, or 15. So 1 in 8 values there. And that gives you as a result, um, you've got 8 out of 16, 1 out of 16, 1 out of 16, 1 out of 16. And if you multiply those together, you'll get 1 in 8,192. So that's where that number actually comes from. And that's why that's the shiny rate in Generation 1 and 2, is because it's determined by IVs. And they simply kept that number consistent going into Generation 3 and 4. So that's why Generation 3 and 4 also are 1 in 8192. Now if you're asking about Generation 1 specifically because Pokémon are bugged and only have certain IV values available to them, so therefore surely it can't be 1 in 8192? You're right. Um, you're actually right, and it is indeed modded by Nora. It is indeed fixed so that it will just simply roll all possible values. They're all accessible, all Pokemon, in this patch. Um, so yes, they're all 1 in 8192. It was only in Generation 6 that they eventually had this. So the only shiny I got in my life is that red Gyarados. Only one? You didn't even get, like, the event Zamazenta? I would say the event Zacian, but <laughs> well, no one bought, no one bought shield. <sighs> uh, anyway, Raposa, are you <laughs> are you wanting a sticker? Or are you trying to pass off that fiver as $35? Zacian a sword? Yes, but in sword they gave out a shiny Zamazenta as an event, and in S.H.I.E.L.D. they gave out a shiny Zacian as an event, so that you could complete your Pokedex without needing to trade the version exclusives. 
It's just like, it's the most recent, like, shiny event I could think of that I think most people kind of got. <sighs> As I said, I live under a rock. Well, look, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just out of touch. I bought shield. I mean, shield is... Look, shield... It's fine. There's nothing wrong with shield. Probably. Shield's probably got some stuff in it that's cool, right? I'm sure there's at least one version exclusive in Shield that's that's cool, right? What, a pony t pony tar? I'm not actually that big a fan of Gladian Rapidash. I'm trying to pull a Mewtwo and Crystal, <laughs> but I'll settle. Okay. Just hoping I'd you hoping I would fall for it. Bring HRT out into what leaf green? I'm sure he'd thrive. <laughs> um what sort of sticker you want and what sort of vibe? Get grab with earlier. Yeah, that's actually true. Shield, for some reason, has a few Pokemon that are just available sooner. Um, another one is uh, Salanda. You get to pick? You get to pick! I have here a book of 1001 Pokemon stickers, and not every Pokemon from Gen 1 to 8 is represented. There aren't any Gen 9, it's an old book. Not every Pokemon is represented. But if you give me a vibe... I can find something. Or if you just want a Pokeball, I got plenty. I can also try and look for a specific Pokemon. Quagsire. Oh, Quagsire's definitely in here. Quagsire is 100% in this book. Don't at me. There's no way Quagsire's not. Okay, there's no big Quagsire. There is a big Whiskash, which is similar, I guess. They're just a little guy. There's a blip bug. Whipper? I can... There's definitely Quagsire or Whipper in here. Why is there Whiskash and Barboach? Whatever. See, the issue is they're in absolutely no order whatsoever, so sometimes it takes me a while. Like, sometimes I see right away exactly what I'm looking for, but... It can take a bit. I've gotten pretty good at scanning it, though. Got excited by Tootle there for some reason. And Brain was like, oh, Tootle! I was talking about you earlier. What's everyone's favourite rook a day? Mine is Tootle. <laughs> Wait, I found a rook a day. Couldn't we not find one the other day? Oops, I found one. <laughs> Um, I, I have awful news. I didn't see a Whooper or a Quagsire in here. I have awful, awful news. That's wild. This book is so strange. This is the worst news ever. Yeah, there's nothing good about that news. Oh, it's Snom? Oh, there's definitely a Snom. <laughs> wait, no, wait. Do I know that because we already wore the Snom? What time have the Snom's been used? Wait, that would be heartbreaking. <laughs> I feel personally attacked by this book. 
This book is this book is not book. Okay, it's not the best. I found a snob. There's a snob. It's okay. There's a snob. There's a snob. I think there was a big snob that we previously done, so you'll have to deal with the little snob that you can't even really see on the camera. But there's a snob. Come on. Focus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Focus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Focus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Focus. 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 You're gonna have to believe me. See the influencer hand? My, my camera is actually not that clever. It doesn't really... I don't really... Wait, shoot, maybe it might have worked. Hold on, snom. Snom. Snom, hold up a second, honey. No, my camera's just not that high def. Sorry. You'll have to believe me. I gotta be real, these stickers are not great, okay? <laughs> when I got the book, I really thought... I really thought they'd be better. I'm sorry. Every time I put one on, I feel like I feel like I'm riffing people off. It's like if you look through a dirty window. Yeah. I can't believe there's no whooper. Yeah, okay, so the thing is, my webcam outputs in 240p, I believe. 240p for the webcam. So, it look, it, 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 trust me, it's doing its best, okay? It's doing its best. This is like the cheapest webcam I could find. Next time you find a whooper, just like you find Rookity. Yeah. That Rookity, I feel bad about that. <laughs> Cause I was like, oh, there's Corvin Knight and Corvus Squire. There's gotta be Rookity. Haha, <laughs> could not find it. I didn't see Whooper or Quagsire though, and I looked like they're blue. Phantom. I think for the 12 months, where it was 11 yesterday. It was 11 pretty recently, huh? I think it gives you like a week either end or something like that to say it. I don't think it has to be exactly the day. Phantom, you came in for the first time while I was doing this stuff, right? Wait, we aren't—we literally spoke about that the other day. No, you're right. It was 11 the other day. Okay, no, that's just weird. That's just odd. I don't know why that is. But anyway, Phantom, thank you very much for the 12 months. You've officially spent as much on me as you could have spent on a copy of Tears of the Kingdom. hope you continue to enjoy all of your subscriber perks, like the emotes that are there and the other stuff that's cool too. The, the, the Terraria server that I still pay for but don't really do anything with. The, the, I already own Tears of the Kingdom. See, there we go. That's the spirit. Got more use of the lottie streams? Exactly. I mean... Think about it. For only sixty pounds, right? You've you've had an entire year here. Think about how many hours you've had of just content that that the sixty pounds didn't pay for. But you know what I mean. It's well worth it when you think about it like that, right? That was a wiggly sword. I I see the wiggly sword like the feather duster. I, I, I see that. Look at my glasses, I guess. That needs to be further away because I'm just nearsighted and not completely blind yet. Yeah, have faith. <laughs> Pays for you to take care of yourself to make the content? Hell yeah. I love the... I love the two quid I get from each sub. <laughs> Keeps me alive. <laughs> Phantom, how are you? 
How are you doing? How's it gaming? If I had a call correctly, you like these Mewtwo's. It's very gaming. Very gaming. That's good to hear. How come my living desk grind? Did you get yourself the Ambor in Scarlet and Violet? Fair question. Remember that one? No, it was it's an event that they're doing this weekend. I just thought I'd ask you. Seems like the kind of thing you might be interested in. I don't know. Absolutely no one has brought it up to me. My parents have glass and my dad might also have rest of cataract. Even my brothers and I have rest too. Well then, maybe it is a yet. In that case, you should enjoy your sight while you have it. I guess. Or have faith that you'll always have it. That one works too. That one's also good. I don't think I even made it to the second gem in Scarlet Violet. There. How's the living deck trying going? Now that you've got all your nuggets. Like all the bird I want for as long as I can. You'll still be able to hear them thump against the window and stuff afterwards. Don't hunt teensy cute fly, treasure your vision. Is that ever like a threat? I would I would never threaten anyone. There's no threat no threats here. No threats. You know, I'm just gonna start asking people when they come in things that they have never spoken about. <laughs> like, ever. Exactly, you'll you'll hear them. You'll hear them thunk against the window. <laughs> Isn't that all you could possibly want? Look, badgers, green apples. There's there's. I like badgers. Where did the badger thing come from? Green apples are bad. I don't like badger. No. I like badgers. I don't like green apples. And they killed the streamer. It, it it caught the 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 carthunk got me okay. As did just how, as did the like the big happy emote you sent after that. Like I would have thought you would have heard them and been like, oh no, the pigeons. But you're just like, Dum. yay birds. <laughs> a chop line acquired. How how many years do you think this will take you, Phantom? Humming the Baseline DS Remix from Jet Set Radio Future Unreleased Tracks. This song goes on for over four minutes. I'm hoping it picks up. The reason I checked is because the first like, like the first 15 seconds were just four seconds repeated. There we go. I was like, please don't be this for just four minutes. Please don't do that to me. Years? I don't think it'll be that long. Well, fingers crossed, right? Because the less years it takes you, the happier you'll be. Hideki Namunaga, my goat? I, I don't know these people, I'm sorry. This is a friend of yours. Pop 
Part of me really wants to encounter Mewtwo with this in the background. Was it for Jet Set Radio? Wait, you've heard of Jet Set Radio? Also Sonic Rap. Okay, I did think it was a Sonic music. It's a Sonic music. I did think it was a Sonic Trap when I heard it. So that, that checks out. But this is a thing people have heard of? <laughs> they just met their goats. <laughs> their goat is named Hideki Namanaga. That's a good goat name. No, like, like that's that's a solid goat name. One side game for the DS? Apparently it was this one. If I had a goat, I would name him Stanley, I think. No, so what use do you have for a male goat? <laughs> Good thought. <laughs> what Jet Set Radio was a big thing, or is it not? I've never heard of whatever this is. I don't know if I'm being like, if this is a bit. I, I don't know. Can you kill your animals in Harvest Moon? If you like take them outside and swing at them with a scythe or something, can you kill them? I never really thought about that. I was just thinking about it there because we were talking about goats. I've never tried to kill my animals in Harvest Moon. Which I think is a healthy sign, right? Is that one of those non-threatening thoughts? That's exactly one of those non-threatening thoughts. Where can I get Flash and Kanto? Ah, uh, Phantom, you simply need to have the skills to know the path through Rock Tunnel, like I do. I just go through there blind. Um, but where it is, is it's in the uh, Viridian area. Yeah, you got your Mr. Kink. It's in the Viridian area, you need cut around there. Um, you're supposed to get it after you go through Diglett's Cave, but you don't need to do that. That's supposed to be the purpose of Diglett's Cave, in fact. Yeah, simply, simply get good. All of us are uber nerds like you, Lottie. Oh, I look up the path. And just follow it. Like, I'd rather, I'd literally rather do that than have to catch the 30 Pokemon or whatever needed to get Flash and then teach it to one of them. So that, well, I've told you where it is, so the choice is yours. Is this a different track? That was the fastest four minutes of my life. Maybe that wasn't that bad. Thirty Pokemon or thirty species? Thirty species registered. I don't remember if it's thirty. Maybe forty. It might even only be twenty. Bernard times 10 because of all the interests. Oh, wait. I have multiple. In <laughs> You're 24 right now? Not doing so hot with the living decks then, huh? I thought you were catching everything. this bop? The, these are not real games. These are not games that exist. But th this is not a game name. There is not a game out there called Toe Jam and Earl in Panic on Funkotron. That's not a game. That's not something that's real. That's not real. That game does not exist. That's not a game. That sounds like Simlish? Yeah, that's not a game. It is? Actually, I gave it a 9 out of 10. Dang, do you think it's better than Sticker Star? It's 
crazy. I'm actually a huge fan of that game. That game rescued my cat from a tree. None of these are real tracks from real games. None of these are real. None of these are real. The track is called Luanda's Love. Okay, you know what? I'm scrolling through all of these to see if any of these are from real games. Okay, that one's from Nintendogs. There's at least at least one real one in there. Okay, Wireland Shake It. That's a real game. Uh, Persona 5. I've heard of that one. This playlist is full of some absolute um, anomalies, we'll say. No one's real just says Nintendo in the title. Weeb. Look, everyone's heard of Nintendogs, okay? Everyone knows Nintendogs. Who was your favorite Nintendog as a child? I like Jeremy. The thing is, I'm at 24 species, but I have multiple of each species. That's... You've just not evolved anything. You're just prepared. <laughs> Othello, Keith. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Y'all just started panicking. I got worried. Is this dog you speak of? I've only heard of Nintendo. And 10 from Mother 1. You're still streaming? I <laughs> What's- <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> when everyone in chat just starts going, What? What is that? What? What's going on? What is- What is that? Is there someone behind me? It's like a giant spider. Maybe. I've never been more terrified by two people saying what in such rapid succession before. You jump scared me. I don't know what was going on. Is there radio fans around you? Run. I can take both of them. Ever heard of a Nintendo? Ever? That's what all games consoles are called, though. NES? Nintendo. SNES? Nintendo. N64? Nintendo. PS5? Nintendo. I don't know what Nintendogs had names, I just don't know what you mean about Nintendogs. I, it, it was a bit... <laughs> I don't even remember what I said anymore. The, the idea was that the question was like, what was your favourite Nintendog and you'd name a dog breed, but then I said something like, mine was Jeremy. And you were just there like, wait, what? <laughs> Who's Jeremy? <laughs> I guess it worked. I guess it worked just fine. Huh. It was... Look, it was a joke that wasn't funny and didn't make sense. Totally believe there was one called Jeremy? No. <laughs> don't expect the autistic peeps to get that? I don't expect anyone to get that, really. Like, at the end of the day, most of the stuff I spout is absolute garbage. The important thing is that even if you did get it, it wasn't funny. I cannot tell when you're sarcastic. I am never sarcastic. Because just roll with it, like improv- exactly, right? Because if your bet doesn't land, you just blame the other person. You're like, you should have gone with it. It would, it would have, it would have been much funnier if you had, if you'd gone with it. 
You not finding that funny is actually an ish you, not an ish me. The three default names of the dogs using the voice command tutorials are Lucky, Maxwell, and Daisy. Wait, they're, wait, they have names? Hold on, now it's really not funny. They actually have names? Ishmi sounds like a name. It's the, it's the guy who hunted the whale, right? And the other GSR fan found that funny. Who's JSR? <laughs> Hydrate, don't mind if I do. Morgan. Okay, okay, good. I was just thinking, it was just like, that's definitely right. So why do I feel so off? Awful if it was like, oh yeah, no, it's not Morgan. It's Ishmi. How did you forget? What if the chat devolves into no one getting any bit over and over? Uh, that's actually kind of what has been for the past two years I've been streaming, I'm gonna be real. Like, I'm not cohesive, I'm not understandable, I'm not legible. No, what I'm surprised about with... Well, I'm not surprised about... I'm surprised that I never talked about the name Morgan. Because, as a child, I had a book called... Um, I, I, I had a book series that were called like the Serendipity book series or something like that. They all ended with a moral. I don't know if people have heard of them. Like, um, Weedle on the Needle and stuff like that. But there was a section of them that were that were about a unicorn named Morgan. But they actually had a first one in the line called Morgan Morning. That was the first one canonically. And I just remembered it really, really distressing me. Because it's about this uh, this baby horse. They're not called ponies. I didn't forget that name. Don't worry. I said baby horse on purpose. I did not forget they're called ponies. Um, it's about this baby horse who's just been born. He's he's unable to walk and stuff. He's trying his best though. Mother names him Morgan, and he's he's doing his best. He's doing his little horsey best, but he decides to go a bit too far afield, and he stumbles and falls down a ravine. And gets trapped at the very bottom and he's like all injured and like he's broken his legs and he's just calling for his mother and eventually his mother finds him like near nightfall and she's like Morgan I can't get down there and help you I am just a horse like uh, and she's like crying even though she's also a horse and he realizes that he should have listened to his mother because she said to stay by her side all the time and not run away. Um, that bet it's a foal, not a pony. What's a pony? <laughs> but but anyway, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, Morgan, Morgan, legs broken, damaged. He's crying as night falls. He's all alone because his mother's abandoned him because she has to go off and have more children to keep the family line going. Uh, he's just all alone in the dark. And then God uh, asks Morgan, he's just like, Morgan, would you like me to help you? And Morgan's like, yes, please, God. God's like, okay, but I'll have to turn you into a unicorn and I'll have to send you away to the magical world and you'll never see your mother or any of your friends again. 
And he's like, I don't really want that. And then God's like, well, you can stay here and die then if you'd prefer. And Morgan's like, okay, I'll be the unicorn then. And then that's how Morgan became a unicorn. And it really upset me because it's like... Oh, that, that fool deserved so much better. Are you okay, Jean? Why, why do people keep asking me if I'm okay? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Is everything okay? Do I not look okay? Am I dying? <laughs> Chat, you're worrying me. I'm regretting choosing this name for myself. Look, whenever I hear the name Morgan, I just think about that, that horse. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Don't look at me! Normal people don't talk about Morgan the Crippled Baby Horse. That was one of my childhood books, though. My mom read it to me. And the moral, the moral of the story was, listen to your mother. And my mom was like, and that's a good moral, because you don't want to fall down a ravine and then have me not be able to get you. And I was like... And so I listened to my mother. It was not a real book. It's called Morgan Morning. Look it up right now. Morgan Morning. You know what? I will look it up on stream for you. Or for you. <laughs> I'll be done and then listen as a chicken. <laughs> was this was this a scarring story? Morgan Morning. Book by unauthored. Morgan Morning, said and deputy. I told you they were called the said and deputy books. And it's legitimately about a baby horse. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Can I, can I access a PDF of it? Can I read it out on stream? When the young horse Morgan is swept over a waterfall and breaks his leg, he's rescued by a magical unicorn who changes Morgan into a unicorn. They skimmed over the scarring bits, but that's technically true. That was just a really long, really bad bit. Why would that be a bit? Why would that ever be a bit? Did you all really think that was a bit? Do you think I'm capable of that? I was asking if you're mentally sound. That's a... <laughs> Horses breaking their legs also usually means death. Well, you know, you see, he, he was fixed. He was cured when he got turned into a unicorn. And then as a unicorn in all the Morgan books, there's other Morgan books like Morgan and me, Morgan and you, stuff like that. And Morgan's a happy unicorn and he's the driving force in those stories as opposed to... Hargold, you okay there? as opposed to just being a suffering little horse. So he becomes a magical, powerful unicorn. Everything's fine. That's that's his origin story. That's his or that's his arc. So Morgan's mum told his siblings to explain why he's not coming back. You only live if you change into something better. What a message. Don't listen to your mum. Become a unicorn. Morgan die when he broke his legs and becoming unicorns his brain's dying delusion? No, no, it's fine. Look, this this book scarred me as a child, okay? I, this book mortified me. It is not the worst story my mother ever read me when I was a child, but it's up there. So, I was once bought from my uh, stepdad's parents. Um... I think. A book of Scottish fables. Like, oh, you know, bring the girl up. Knowing her Scottishness or whatever. And one of those stories was, um, 
Can I go back to Diglett's Cave after Mount Moon? You absolutely can. Uh, you absolutely can. Diglett's Cave is still there. It does not just collapse in on itself, sorry to say. For a really long while we lingered on I was bought. <laughs> I was bought. <laughs> I was, I was bought. Um, I was purchased. Okay, fine. I was gifted a, a, a book on Scottish fables. Um, so, you know, stories that all have morals at the end of them, right? Except none of these had m morals, so... But, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me tell you one of them. It's not as bad as the horse story that I realize... Okay, we've all had those moments where you tell a funny childhood story and then, you know, after you're done, you know, and you expect everyone to laugh, Everyone's really silent, and um, and they all start saying, Oh my god, I'm so sorry. We've all had those moments, right? That was me right there with the horror story. I, I thought that was way funnier than it was. I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to unleash my childhood traumas on you all, unfettered. So I had one that was the story of the fox, the wolf, and the butter. Right, that was one of the stories in there. And it was about a fox and a wolf who are friends, and they come across a churn of butter. And I'm pretty sure it's not called a churn of butter. But that's what I remember it being called in the book. It's called a churn of butter. Just like one of these massive things full of butter. And they're like, well, we can. <laughs> we can't all eat, eat all this in one go. But that's crazy. You think you know that one? You can back me up. Uh, okay, so is in fact a churn of butter? Okay, they find a churn of butter. And they're like, well, we can't eat all of this in one go. You know, that'd be wild. We're only small. So, um, what we'll do is we'll bury it, right? And we'll eat it. We'll eat it when the time is right. That's what the that's what the fox says to the wolf. Um, and the wolf's like, all right. And they do. They, they decide that. They bury it. They pick where it, where it should go. And they cover it over so no one else can find it. And the next morning... The wolf's like, oh, is today the day that we should eat the butter? And the fox is like, uh, no, I have to go to a christening today, actually. I'm really busy, haha. <laughs> um, so, maybe tomorrow? And the wolf's like, okay. And the fox comes back later that night, having been to his christening. And he doesn't want any dinner. He seems to be full, as is. And the wolf's like, mm, okay, well, at least tomorrow we can eat our butter. That'll be exciting. And the next day, the wolf's like, oh, is today the day that we'll eat the butter? And the fox is like, no, I have another christening. The wolf's like, um, alright, that's a bit suspicious, mate, but okay. And the fox goes off to his other christening. The wolf's like, well, tomorrow we can't possibly have another christening, that would be stupid. And again, the fox comes back and doesn't seem to want any dinner. He used to be well fed in some way. <laughs> Hey, Phantom, don't spoil the story. Hey, hey. Um, and then on the third day, again, the fox is like, no, no, I've, uh, I'm going to go and I've got another christening. And the wolf's like, the hell you do, mate. The fox is like, I do, 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 I do. And the fox goes off to his christening, but the wolf follows him. And he follows him to the spot where they buried the churn of butter. And he sees the fox dig it up and eat what very little is remaining in it. And the wolf and the fox fight over the fact that the fox betrayed the wolf. And the wolf moved out of Scotland. And that's why there's no wolves in Scotland anymore. Is because they don't get along with the foxes because... A really long-winded joke with less payoff. It's not even a joke though. That was supposed to have a moral to it. That was supposed to be a fable. Is this canon to the Scottish timeline? Yeah, apparently the fable is <laughs> the fable is uh the moral is uh that's why there's no wills in Scotland. <laughs> it's not a moral, but <laughs> comparison for the duck. Oh the the duck song. Bum bum bum. Ba dum ba dum. So Ravain, is that the is that the fox and the wolf and the butter story that you were familiar with? Is that the one that you knew? 
The moral is that you can and should steal butter from wolves. Yeah, they'll just they'll just run away. Yeah, you can do that. What are they gonna do? They're gonna fight you? No, they'll just leave Scotland. Actually, it's the best way to get rid of a wolf. When you think about it. What is it with wolves? Doesn't Ireland have a thing about wolves? Didn't St. Patrick get rid of all the wolves in Ireland? I've heard some story about a fox illicitly eating butter he was supposed to share someone. That'll be the same story. There can't be that many stories about foxes and eating butter that they shouldn't be. A churn of butter three days keeps the wolves at bay. This isn't a lottie invention. None of these are- oh, it, it was snakes, it was snakes with St. Patrick, you're right. Sorry, I thought wolves were just catching shade from all sides. Apologies. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm still shook over the fact that you all thought I was making up the... The Morgan bit. That would be a... Wild thing for me to have made up. The vision you all have of me is very different from the one that I have intended to create. If you think I would come up with a children's story about a horse breaking its legs. the fox say? Actually, the reason- <laughs> What does the fox say? Actually, the reason there are no wolves is because of me, and you should let me eat out of your bins forever now. Welcome in, Ash. Just can't take your word for anything. <laughs> There's no snakes in Ireland because of the margarine. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna tell one more childhood story, alright? One more of- the one. It was another one in the Scottish Fables book. And this one also haunted me, so be prepared, I guess. <laughs> There's this girl who lives with her loving father, her horrible stepmother, uh, and her two brothers. And the stepmother is actually really nice to the two brothers, but horrible to the little girl. And obviously she must be good to the father too, because he married her. Maybe she's just really hot. The book doesn't really dwell on that. Um, but one day the girl's father manages to buy her a brand new thing of skipping, a brand new skipping rope. And she's so excited, she cannot wait to just use it all the time. And she uses it all the time, every day. And the girl's stepmother one day asks her, um, you know, you wretched, pathetic girl, would you be willing to go and get milk from the neighbour down the street. I'll give you the money for it and I'll give you my precious milk jug. And the little girl's like, okay, okay. And she's excited because she can skip all the way there. And her stepmother's like, don't drop, don't spill a drop of milk. If you skip the way there and you spill a drop of milk, I will know and I will punish you. And the girl's like terrified because her stepmother's horrible to her and she doesn't want to be punished. But she still wants to skip and she's really stupid. So she skips all the way there. She pays the, the neighbour for the milk. I don't really know how it worked back in the day. Apparently you just went to get milk from your neighbours. I don't know. <laughs> Clearly this story was written in 1412. Um, so she gets her milk and then she's all ready to start skipping back, being very careful with the milk. And she... Um, and she trips over. She's focusing too much on the milk jug and not enough on the skipping rope, so she trips over. She smashes the milk jug and it spills everywhere. And she just starts screaming and crying. And the neighbor who gave her the milk comes out and is just like, oh my goodness, what happened? And she's like, I spilled the milk. And he's like, well, there's no use crying over that, I guess. I don't think he actually said that, but it would have been pretty good if he did. Um, and she's just like, and now my stepmother will punish me. And he's like, well, I, I, is that not deserved for spilling the milk? And she's like, she will punish me too much. And he's like, okay, I will I will get you another milk jug and we will fill up the milk and she need never know. Just be very careful with this one. The little girl nods and she's like, yes, they'll be fine. And she carefully walks back all the way, not skipping at all, making sure she doesn't spill even a drop of milk from the brand new milk jug. And once she gets back, the stepmother takes the jug and says, where's my jug? This is not my jug. The little girl's like, what? She's like, I recognize my jug. This is not mine. 
Did you break my jug? The little girl's like, I'm so sorry, but but I got you a new jug. And I'm not even too sure if I can continue this story. But basically, the stepmother's like, well, you shall be punished. And later on at dinner, the little girl is nowhere to be seen. Um, and her father finds one of her fingers in the pie that they're eating for dinner with her ring on it and he's like oh my god did you kill my daughter and put her in this pie and the stepmother's like yes because she broke my milk jug <laughs> and <laughs> what's the moral <laughs> what is the moral of that story at the end of the day what is the moral And I hated that story so much, I was so terrified of it, that whenever I misbehaved as a child, my mum used to threaten to read me that story. She didn't threaten to put me in a pie, she didn't threaten to do anything like that, she threatened to read me that story. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Welcome in, Krebeka. Uh, we're talking about children's stories that we that we all that we all read as children. You remember the one about the little girl in the pie, right? It makes milk jugs that break if you draw them. It was porcelain. It was a porcelain milk jug. The mother's one had like stripes, and the one that the little girl brought back had like spots. They were pretty obviously different, from what I recall. There was something like that in the story. I was just horrified that like any moment in my life if I did. I know the butter one, but the milk jug story was only in the special book for Lottie. I have tried to find that book online. I cannot. I see you by she still wants to skip and she's really stupid. <laughs> like, if you're told not to spill a drop of milk or you'll be punished, the first thing you do is not whip out the skipping rope. That's all I'm saying, okay? She's not the smartest tool in the shed. Um, yeah, so no one else read that one as a child, no. That was just me. I must have been like five or six at the time. I was very small when I got that book. I did her stepmother to hang her with the skipping rope. I really missed a chance for some dramatic irony. Yeah, you're right. They skip dramatic irony entirely and just <laughs> cut her up and put her in a pie. <laughs> I like stories about dinosaurs, <laughs> but to each their own. I'm freshly traumatized. But on the plus side, Morgan, now I will never forget your name. Is, nor will you. <laughs> Forgot that's where this all started. Yeah, I think I've been talking about this stuff for like 20 30 minutes at this point. I'd rather you had just <laughs> forgotten my name. <laughs> I went for books about anatomy for kids and other non fiction children a lot. After this very normal stream, I must retire to my lair. I'm sorry. I, look, I was, like, I was reliving childhood memories with y'all, okay? I'm wearing the Halloween outfit, and you didn't want scary stories? Well, Raposa, thank you again for the donation for the campaign for Southern Equality. And I hope you rest well and don't have nightmares. You can rest well knowing that I'm safe from wolves. At all times. Dug Trio is not the easiest thing in the world to catch. Maybe Autumn doesn't have to be June. <laughs> wow, I really destroyed the optimism of chat today, huh? 
people are coming and being like, every month is Pride Month. June can be autumn if you want. And now it's like, Lottie, go back in your box. Never talk to me again. Stay safe from freaky milk problems. Hi, thank you for the gigantic Kino. You really get to see how fuzzy and fluffy he is. Didn't mean to bop my mic. I keep doing that, so I think that means it's in a very bad location. Well, now it's worse. Right, I, I worsened my problem. So I am so sad that the big emotes don't show up in my chat up here, and I don't know if there is a way for me to do that. Because I love the gigantic emotes. I think they're funny as hell. I don't know what it is, they just get me. Like, yeah, that is a giant guinea pig. Um, anyway, yeah, Krebeka, how are you? I didn't ask. I was in the middle of a story when you came in. How are you? How are you doing? I've achieved zero things today. That's what we like to hear! switch my laptop. Fair play. I don't think that said autism. No, autism is allowed to be in June. Just autumn's not allowed to be in June. It still gets me, huh? Lemon formerly called Morgan. Thank you very much for your $10 donation to the campaign for Southern Equality. Um, and the request that comes with that donation is please never read that story ever again. Uh, I, I will, I I don't know if I can promise that. Would you like two stickers instead? feel terrible now. I won't lie, the first Morgan that comes into my head is the Morgan from Fire Emblem. Um, so maybe I should have gone with that. And then the second one is the, the, the unicorn. And then the third one is a Morgan I went to high school with. So in future what I might do is I might skirt around silver medal. Just forgot my name? Fire Emblem characters unite! I mean, I didn't get my name from the Charlotte from Fire Emblem. I, I had it a bit longer than her, but like... Fire Emblem characters unite! What, um... What stickers would you like? What sort of vibes? There's a unicorn. Yeah, the unicorn was God. And it's a real book that you can- that I'm not- no, never- no, it's not a real book. I made it up. It's fine. Don't worry about it. That's right. The $10 donation must be acknowledged. It's not a real book. And we never talked about it. Electric types because I'm afraid to turn the lights off now? Okay. I'll see if I can get you a big electric type to make up for it. To make up for the trauma I put you through. Um, Electivire is an option. It's a big Electivire. There is a Galvantula, but it's too big. Like, that will not fit on my face. The, um... Oh. 
I don't even think it would fit here. The Galvantula is gigantic. <gasps> There's a Pichu. I gotta grab the Pichu and the... Should I just grab the Pichu and the Pikachu? Is that really basic of me? I just know she's not wearing her ears. Don't worry about that. The Pichu is actually like quite cute. Pikachu. I was gonna do Pichu and Pikachu. I think it's better to not put them on at the same time, right? We'll do Pichu and Electivire. Electivire is big and chunky. Can't exist at the same time because one turns into the other. Exactly. Violate's causality if you have both on your face. See, you know me so well. I would never violate anyone. Let alone causality. Protect me from the demon unicorn? No, the unicorn was god. The unicorn was good. Don't worry about it. Also, there was no unicorn. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm not wearing my ears. They're off today. Sorry about that. No ears. I also, instead of the maid mop, I do technically have the option of wearing a pumpkin stem. But I need to be wary around that in case, you know. Well. You know. You're only $3 away from passing the $700 threshold. That is wild when you consider that I've only done 13 days, huh? Did not? Well, you know. I can't lean too into the pumpkin aesthetic during Pride Month. You know? It's just not the done thing. Continue to not. If, if if you know, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Okay. If you know, you know. I, I I'm sure there are people who know. I'm sure there are people who don't know. If you know, you know. Anyway, Mewtwo, right? Remember that guy? What's he doing? He's purple. I'll just assume it's a sexual thing. What would be what would be sexual about pumpkins? It's a very odd thing to say out of pocket. get here 
It's the sexual thing about anything? True. Why, why bother being sexual when you could simply cuddle someone, right? I guess, I guess unless you don't like to do that either. Uh, yeah, Ravine, that's 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 exactly what it's in reference to. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't touch me. Okay, I won't. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? I think I can... I can't promise a lot of things. I think I can pretty easily promise I won't ever touch you. So you're safe. You are like a Scottish person and I am a wolf. You are safe. See, because I'm not actually, like, real. I just live inside your computer. Um, but yeah, no, Ravane, that's exactly what it's in reference to, yeah, no. Am I the Scottish person? Well, because I'm the wolf. Right? It's wolf time? Someone's favorite wolf quote. Mine is when he goes, Landmaster! I am like a wolf, Lottie not escaping the fursona rumors. Rumors? Did I not basically inadvertently all but confirm it that one time? Earth are we listening to? Like, uh, how 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 quickly we forget? How quickly we forget? <laughs> how quickly we forget? <laughs> It's a real song for a real game. Graffiti City, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform. Sonic is not real. He cannot hurt me. Now, I'd like to clarify just for the sake of clearness that I am not a I am not a furry. I'm sorry to say it. This this fursona right here, this Charlotte, um, I forget why she exists, but I'm pretty sure it's just for the pun. Like, he's literally just an otter wearing my clothes. There's nothing more to that. Sad to say, sad to say. Ah, I put that away at the right moment. House! Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. I think I put it away at the right moment. I think we're safe. How do I do the how do, how do I how do I do shout outs chat? 4640. How do I do shout outs? How do I do shout outs? How do I do that? How do I do it? <laughs> so House is a Spelunky 2 player. I mean, to... still going over the last one. <laughs> House, how did the daily challenge go? 
Sean, welcome in. Um, how did how did your stream go? You were up to something. I did see that. You were indeed up to something. Yes, you were doing Tapufini DAs, right? That was the something you were up to? And chat, good luck with the multi game. Thank you very much, House. Double raid, double raid, I know, right? I'm glad we all stopped being weird right before the double raid. <laughs> before I awood. Yeah, welcome in, raiders. Okay, I can officially give a shout out to Sean. 4644. I don't think I did this one. I cannot. That was a lie. I have to wait 38 seconds. Shall we do it in silence? Uh, hey, you doing okay there, Hercule? Good seal with eggplant. I was trying to get a clone to 799. How close did you get with that? Also, just the casual. Every time I ask you how did it go, and you're like, "Oh, I cleared the cosmic ocean," but you know, didn't do it as well as I wanted to. As though that doesn't make you like the single most cracked gamer I've ever met in my entire life. Well. Somewhere in the 770s? That's just like... I can't even get there. I mean, I know you've had way more practice on me and stuff, but you're just a very impressive house. Abafini Diaz and Gen 2 Panko? How did they go, Sean? I don't really know how to ask about how shiny hunting... Like, it's really kind of just a case of did you get it? <laughs> and if you did, you'd have said. So I guess it's a... It's a predetermined answer, right? Like... They went, they didn't shine. Yeah, like, how do I even ask? This is the Persona 5 song. Okay. 4656. I can do this now. 4656. We gave Sean a shout out. Look at me, I'm built different. 4656. Sean is also taking part in the Pokemon Pride event, um, where we are raising money for the campaign for Southern Equality. Donation is not mandatory or even expected, but it is appreciated. Um, if you have something to give, the donation link is pinned in chat, or you can do exclamation mark donate or exclamation mark incentives to see what you can get. That's why I have stickers on my face. That's not a stylistic choice. It's also why I'm dressed as a maid, except it's not. That is a stylistic choice. Don't judge me. Um, the Campaign for Southern Equality is a charity that works in 15 of the southern US states in order to improve access to care, to help provide resources, to assist in registering voters and combating harmful legislation against LGBTQ plus people, and to provide funding and training to organizers and healthcare workers. They basically just do everything they can to make it so that LGBTQ plus people who live in those states are having a better time than they could be. Um, in addition, anything that is donated is matched one-to-one -one by a generous benefactor of the event. So if you give $5, then that is $10 that the Campaign, of Southern Equal Campaign for Southern Equality wouldn't have had otherwise. And in total, everyone together in this event has managed to raise, so far, $17,475.71 Which will be doubled to... 35,000-ish. I'm not doing that in my head. Big numbers, amazing community? Definitely. We... Passed my monthly goal. The, my goal for the month... For the whole month was $500. As you can see, we kind of smashed that. Um, we're kind of going past it. And my new goal for the month is $750, which we will hit, I'm pretty confident in. But I don't think we're exactly going to be seeing a thousand. But either way, wow. It's all very good stuff. It's all very good stuff. And that's why we're here shiny hunting today. This is not normally something I do, 
I do it once a year for charity. Uh, I normally do other things with my time, like challenge runs or speedruns even. I actually have the world record speedrun in um, Dragon Quest 1 on the Switch in all the English categories. I am, I am the fastest. I am the bestest. That is me. Got to the post stream lurk, so good luck. Yes. Uh, Sean, house, if you've got a rest, if you've got a lurk. Sorry, I'm like uh, all over the place right now. You got a rest, you got a lurk, you got to eat, you got to sleep. I don't mind. Uh, well, I don't mind. I don't control you. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean, though. Like, l take care of yourself. Look after yourself. Streaming is exhausting, more so than people who don't stream give it credit for. Uh, so, yeah. Just have a good one, okay? Thank you again very much for the raids. It's a lot of Mewtwo on one screen. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that I've seen more Mewtwo in the past half hour than I've seen previous to that and like previous to that in like my entire life. Congrats on the speedrun, I didn't know that, that's cool. I am awesome, yes. In fact, in July we will be I will be planning I'll be trying to get the speedrun world record for Pikmin 3. I'll be doing Pikmin 3 speedruns. Which is very not Pokemon. Yes, welcome in Chatham. Chatham? I assume Chatham. Like the ferryman, right? With the pennies. And the river sticks and stuff. It's like, maybe it's just a weird way of spelling Shannon, or maybe it's Karen. But no, it's like... I mean, five euros to get across the sticks? Aw, oh, jeez. Inflation really hit you hard, huh? Your mom addicted to Hades or something? I, 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 I did not, I can safely say that. I thought Pikmin 3 was a new Pokemon. Sad to say it isn't. No, Pikmin, Pikmin is kind of like Pokemon in that uh, they're little and come in multiple colors, and that's the extent of it. Okay, I think I'm officially caught up with everything. I think everything's good now. Pokemon of the Pokemon was Oddish? Yeah, if the only if the only Pokemon was Oddish and the only move was throw Oddish, that that you, you're there. You're halfway there. Let's throw Oddish. Yeah, the Let's Go game sort of flops, so let's go for the Let's Throw games instead. Very excited. Uh, you might be able to tell the extent of how much I like Pikmin based on the nicknames that the Pokemon that I've played these games with have. Uh, I do quite like Pikmin. <laughs> Even Tangela over there is in fact just because we caught that shiny. And the original Pokemon that sold that run was Blowhog. Joking, by the way, not sure how obvious it was. No, I got it, I got it. Same throwing mechanic from LGBE, from LGBE, just Oddish instead of Balls. Unironically, a Pikmin game with like, like... Where's my first person Pikmin game, you know? Where's my first person survival Pikmin game? Where's Pikmin Tower Defense? Tower Defense games, of course, famously being first person. Origami Vivian, thank you very much for the follow. I really like that username. I don't know why. It's just, it's just aesthetically pleasing. Aesthetically pleasing username. Sometimes you gotta read out usernames that are just like splurm, and it's like. Good for you, Splurm. I'm glad you're happy. Oh, we, 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 I confirmed this. 
Adept Charon, thank you for the follow. It's like, I, I confirmed that it was Charon. It's, it's not Charon, it's not Karen. I confirmed this, I made a joke about it. I did that, I did that, I did that bit. Don't need to worry about that bit. I'm just playing has Discord statuses. I wish to be like Olimar, an absent father. I get, I get, I, I, I guess when you word it that way, huh? God, I love Pikmin. I don't even know what it is. Well, lucky Lottie doesn't know some traumatizing children's story about a Vivian. Look. The only Vivian I'm familiar with is the one from the Thousand Year Door. And any piece of trivia I could have given you about her is no longer trivia and is now just a thing that they put and here for that. Shoutouts to relocalization that makes games better. Already over the moon when people go for the name part, not just adept. I, yeah, I, I've i seen it definitely, where it's like, okay, when people call me Guinea, I always think it's absolutely wild. It's like, really? <laughs> you looked at this name and you were just like, Guinea. That's the part I'm gonna read out. Alright. Is your word you pronounce Lotier wrong? So I always try to go for the part that's like a name, rather than like an adjective or something. Supposed to call me original. <laughs> well, hey, at least you're, at least you're you were the first, right? No one would ever accuse you of plagiarism. You're the original. Any Robin trauma? Only the story I had about how I went to school with that um, with the girl named Robin who was like over a year older than me. That's not trauma. This is D3 of Mewtwo hunting. Some people said they felt like it was going to be today. I don't think it's the day. I really think this is a hunt that goes up to like 20k. I think this is a big hunt. Did I even introduce myself? I was just like, oh, thanks for the raid. Charity stuff. How are your streams? I don't think I even said, like, hi, I'm Lottie. So, hi, I'm Lottie. Can't really go wrong in Pokemon communities with my name. Nobody would call me trainer. Do people call you Rookity? It was actually a weird one is I had not to completely like out his name or anything, I guess, but I had a I had a viewer for a while called Ridley Killer. And I, everyone just called him Ridley. And it's like, all things considered, that is the exact opposite of what your name implies. <laughs> you are not Ridley. You are the killer of Ridley. Does it even work for yellow? Is it modified in some way so you can actually tell it's supposed to be shiny? Yes. Also, hello. <laughs> hello, original. <laughs> hello, Origami Vivian. Thank you for the wave. I am I'm very good at communicating with other human beings. Um, yes, so Pokemon Blue. I I didn't do it in yellow for reasons. Um Those reasons are that I think blue has a better Mewtwo sprout. That's just, that's just my personal preference. Uh, it is modified such that if Mewtwo is shiny, or if any Pokemon is shiny, it will have, as this level one very legitimately obtained pad, as we'll show you, it will have three little sparkle icons next to its name on the left-hand side. 
to show that it has the right IVs. Again, as this very legitimate Paris that I obtained legitimately and did not put into the game just to show off what they look like, <laughs> shows you. Um, this mod was made directly by Nora herself, the organizer of the Pokemon Pride event. And yeah, it, it, it works. It's cool. It says blue. I noticed the Venusaur backsprite made the mess it was. They actually didn't fix any of the backsprites in yellow. Um, they only fixed the front sprites. Is there anything Nora can't do? Um, handstand. Nora cannot do a handstand. She can't do it. Apart from that though, nothing. Just a handstand. It's awkward telling they can call me Robin. There's a part of me that's like really just wants to learn names for people that aren't their screen names. And there's a part of me that's just like, am I gonna end up messing them up badly? I'm gonna try and call you Robin. I'm gonna try that. I have an account in a game called Sweet Summer Child, and sometimes I get Sweet Child. <laughs> get Sweet Childed. Hey, would you rather be Sweet Child or Original? Guess who's back? Is it you, Phantom? Or is it the, the 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 scary man behind me? Summer's right there though? No, but why would you go for summer when you could go for child? It's not the skipping rope ground, she's outside your window. I got a ten dollar um donation to the campaign for Southern Equality. There was no little skipping rope girl. That didn't happen. That wasn't real. the other story. I think it was for I think it was implied to be for both. <laughs> Cuplion calls me Lucasaid sometimes, anything is fine. What I feel worst about is that Oh my goodness, Cuplion. Right, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um uh Cuplion, thank you for the raid. Haha <laughs> Because uh, he raided me on like the third when I was really ill, and I just raided out instantly because I felt too ill to continue. So thanks, Kaplan. I I never acknowledged it before. Whoa! Shout out to Kaplan. Whoa! <laughs> Thank you for that. Also, oh my goodness, yeah, it's Pokemon Leaf Green. Leaf Green's pretty good. It's 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 the game I chose personally. Oh, we all right there, Hercule? Shiny at five 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 five. You promise? Uh, well, you'd know. <laughs> you'd know, right? Wait. Wait. You have you have insider knowledge. You are the game I'm playing. Well, you're 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 one of them. Oh shoot. Shiny at 5555. Five, five, five. Alright, we've. It's, it's been confirmed. Well, now I'm excited. What are we at just now? 4744? Four, four, four. Okay. We can get there today. We can get to 5555. Five, five, five. Must have been too tired to stay after the raid that day. It. I just feel, I feel so bad for it. <laughs> I feel so bad about it. Um, it was just like, he raided in. I was doing something fun and cool. I was doing the shiny bingo race. And I was just, I felt too ill to continue. So I just had to immediately raid out. And I don't even think I said hi or anything because it was like such unfortunate timing. But there we go. I've, I've, I did it. I did it. I everything's okay now. You do the thing where he raids just after you ended. 
It was it was right before, but I'd already I'd already been like, we're quitting. I'm leaving. I'm too ill. It was a bad time. It's mu a time. Mu a indeed. Is it mu a or is it mu sixteen? Yes, it did take me that long to do two to the power of four. I don't know why. Four twos? Yeah, but is it... But is it two times two times two times two? Everyone else does see the, the leaf green messages in chat, by the way. Like, those, those were there for other people, right? I've not reached the point where I'm losing it so much that I think the game is itself talking to me. Shiny hunting hasn't broken me to that degree, right? I'm not alone here. Like, I, I know the game can't communicate with me, but... Am I even live? Did I make up chat? Maybe want to gaslight? We're all hallucinating together, it's all in your head, Lottie. Yeah, am I am I even <laughs> I was never here and I'm definitely not back. Oh wait, no, hold up. We can use it literally named Leaf Green in the chat. Hold up. Okay, I am live. That's that's the important part here. Because if I wasn't live, that would be scary. Okay, I know this banger. Although it's really quiet. Come on, we can turn up Metter B's theme. We don't need anything else. We don't need my commentary. Jump scared. <laughs> oh no, I wasn't looking. G keep it that way. Pokemon XD might be the greatest game ever just because it has this theme in it. Best NPC names too. Carl Seam also has some pretty good ones. Is something good came out of those GameCube games? Whoa! That's. That's fighting words. Pokemon Coliseum was the first uh, Pokemon game that was mine, meaning my starters were Espeon and Umbreon. Oh. This isn't. This isn't. This isn't Mitterby's theme. Back down to normal volumes it goes. We love Gonza. I'm not so crazy about Gonza. I do like his mustache. This game was the first Pokemon game I physically owned. Yeah, it was the first one that was mine. So I got the GameCube, I got Coliseum, I got Super Mario Sunshine, I got Luigi's Mansion, and I got some Star Wars game that I can't remember the name of. I didn't really care much about it. Then later on down the line, I got Pokemon XD, and that was so exciting. Coliseum top tier. I actually, a few... What, Biden? Biden is in XD. Biden is in XD and Coliseum, actually. Biden's on with the gloom. I, I, it might have been Rogue Squadron. It opened with a tutorial about the C stick. I remember that. Um... Not long ago, like a couple months ago, on stream, I played through Pokemon Coliseum using only Shadow Rush. Um, 
and I would like to do a similar challenge in Pokemon XD in the coming months. Like, after all this stuff's over, I'd like to do Pokemon XD using only Shadow Moves, which will be significantly easier, but also probably significantly more entertaining. Because <laughs> it won't just be mashé every turn. <sighs> See, the problem is, the way that the way the maid outfit ties means I have like an uncomfy bit at the back. <sighs> like, a, like just a little nubble digging into my spine. The amount of hours I sat on the living room floor in front of the GC and a crappy TV. I feel that, yeah. I remember inviting people over and having them play the, the battles with me because I had multiple controllers. This guy has a bundle or Pokemon RS box on it. I never had that game, no. Spine Schnabel. Schnabel. Was in Clover Coliseum. Mine must have been second hand though, because uh, it also was supposed to come with a um, extra memory card. I remember that being in the box, and mine did not. I didn't come with a bonus disc or anything. It's a Pokemon song? I have no idea what that was. That was uh, Smooth Funk Jared Stevenson, A Summer's End OST. The more you know, right? The more you know. Oh, we all know this one, right? <laughs> Memory cards for Pokemon Box RS? Oh shoot, I guess I didn't get that. Yeah, okay, I think this might be a little bit loud. I'm gonna turn it down. Even if it is a straight banger. I'm having straight bangers in Pride Month. Is this the one gamepad to four different games thing? It is, it is. We are hunting Mewtwo in Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Leaf Green, and Pokemon Heart Gold. Looking for a shiny Mewtwo in all four games at the same time. What song is it? This is the boutique from Pokemon X and Y. Well, it's not anymore. I don't know, I don't know what this is. But that was the boutique from X and Y. It was just the clothes shop song. Right? Yeah, well, no, yeah, now it's not. Now it's not. Right, we'll continue doing this until there's four shiny mutants on screen at the same time. I could literally do that. I could do that. Like, what we could do is when we get one, we could just unplug that game from the controller and just hunt in the other ones until we get one in every game. That is an option. That is a possibility. The question is, do you really want me to do that, Ravine? I know you don't, by the way. No. <laughs> I knew it. Don't call me out. It would make for a really good screenshot though, right? When you just had the wild Mewtwo appeared in four different games. Oh, they're all shiny. Looks rigged to hell. Now we're just gonna go one Mewtwo and we'll do something else. I'm just kind of feeling like what we should do after this is hunt. We might go back to Route 7 because I kind of just gave up on that one. Because that was always just a filler hunt. But what I've been tempted to do is actually, what if we hunted in Cerulean Cave itself? Like, this place is full of weird and funky encounters. But what I was also tempted by is, what if I hunted in uh, the game corner? Right? What if we did the game corner in four, four games? Because they all have very, very different Pokémon in them. 
problem with Porygon is like, so if you only have one Pokemon in your party, you can buy five at a time. But Porygon's too expensive. You just can't do that with Porygon. But we can buy one Porygon and Leaf Green and then some other things. I think Leaf Green's armor only costs 6,500. Can't remember. But either way, we could definitely have some fun with that. That's definitely a big possibility. I'd need to grind out Game Corner coins, but that's super easy to do in Crystal at the very least. And Heart Gold is like Voltar Flip, which is at least fun. And the other two... Well, the other two suck, but I can probably just buy the coins, honestly. Mewtwo not some boss character? Mewtwo is the final legendary Pokemon, basically. Mewtwo at this point in the series was like the strongest Pokemon, effectively. I, I do feel a little bit like I'm getting some disrespect right here, I won't lie. But that's why we're saving and reloading, like there's only one Mewtwo. But he still has that same 1 in 8192 chance of being a different colour. Which, thinking about how many people caught Mewtwo as children, or at least fought him, some people just got a shiny Mewtwo their first go, you know? Probably thought, wow, that's weird. Only no Mewtwo from the anime. Well, I imagine if he could be green. I swear I'll get back to Spelunky one day. You'll be able to hop in and be like, Oh, hey, I recognize this game. And I'll be like, yeah, right? With the, the whips and the skulls? I thought Shiny Mewtwo was black. No, Shiny Mewtwo just has a green tail instead of a purple tail. That's that's why we were making the Ekans jokes the other day. No, Shiny Mewtwo is not even, like, cool. Eight generations later, it's like if Shadow Rider Kaladex was worse in every way. Okay, Shadow Rider Kaladex does wish it had Psy Strike. So Mewtwo's got one thing going for it. Actually, Mewtwo has coverage. Mewtwo gets Ice Beam, Thunderbolt. It, it gets coverage. So it's got a couple. It's got. It's got. It's got two things going for it. Those. Those are important, right? Shadow Rider Kaladex is like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Look, Pokemon really... Pokemon really, uh... It changed, okay? It changed. It changed. It changed. It changed. We used to have Mewtwo, now we have Shadow Rider Kaladex. We have a villain group in Yu-Gi-Oh GX. Wait! The Shadow Riders! Don's a Luke. He was one of the Shadow Riders. Don's a Lug, right? I remember that from my childhood. He played himself. He drew himself in his deck and he was like, I am playing Don's a Lug, and then put it down on his thing and then stepped onto the field. I remember that. Huh. There you go. See, I had a childhood. I was real. I was not born at 30 years old. Like y'all think I was. Did get shiny Hoto as a kid? The straight pride shiny? What if the rainbow was not rainbow colored? Oh, he doesn't save him. next to Cosmog and some VGC players tier list of restricted legendaries. Uh, Mewtwo must have had some purpose. It's, it's still a it's worth noting, Mewtwo is still a good Pokemon. It's just the way the VGC works. You know, like you can, there's only so many restricted... I'm not coping. You're coping. It's gonna be the Gen 10 battle gimmick. Trainer sent out nothing and walked over the field personally. I'm hyped. I mean, presumably whatever we have will start with Peta, right? I don't know if that's just a wacky coincidence, but... 
I do find it interesting that we had Mega Evolutions, Gigantamaxing, Terrastalizing. Like, Mega Giga Terra. It's like, that might be a coincidence, but it also might not be. Is Mewtwo not the best Pokemon? Not really anymore. Mewtwo is actually kind of washed, I won't lie. In modern day, Mewtwo just does not have the stats to keep up. Pokemon got very, very, very min-maxed, to explain it easily. And while Mewtwo is still very good for in-game purposes, in competitive purposes, it's just actually not that great, which is depressing. But, you know, who cares about competitive? Seems fun to that theme? No, which is why I think it must be a coincidence, surely. But it's just like, why would they call it terrastalizing? I do actually get Mega and Giga, but bringing Terra after that feels odd, right? Like, I don't really... That just is, if it's a coincidence, it's an odd one. But I think it must be a coincidence simply because of Z-moves. Like, we'll know if they do indeed start the next thing with Peta. Which would be really funny, because I'm sure Peter would have something to say about it. Washed, are you Orpheus? Orpheus got into my head, okay? I just made this pick up volume. Snibbit from Lethal League Blaze. Do up snibbiting. Terra comes from crystals which grow on the ground. Do you think that's what it's. I don't know. Maybe that is what it came for. Get what it came from. I could not tell you. That's the other thing as well. It's not just Gigantamaxing, it's also Dynamaxing, which is like. It must just be a coincidence. It must be. It must be. But what if it's not? Should have stopped making Pokemon games after Black and White. They had very final center names. A lot of people thought Black and White was going to be the end. Because um, the anime as well was called Best Wishes. The whole thing was like a soft reboot. It felt like they were just ending it off. But I'm really glad they didn't. Right? Like, the games might not all be super amazing. Um, but yeah, as Robin says, the, the Pokemon... The Pokemon! Can't miss out on the Pokemon. I would have no Alchemy. There would be no Dracovish. There would be no Applin. Know my name here? I know you would just be Trainer. You would just be. Nothing trainer. Pooter the Litten. Exactly, that's that's what you'd be stuck with. You, wait, no, you wouldn't be. There's no Litten. Wait. I had Gen 5 talked of as the end. That makes Gen 2 is meant to be end, so they're more like all myth. Yeah, Gen 5, I, I just remember at the time a lot of people talking about how it's like, this might be the end. Which, I didn't think it was likely because it was still raking in cash, right? I'd like to point that out. I didn't buy into it. Though Gen 2 was meant to be... It, to an extent, Gen 2 was not meant to be the end in terms of... Well, gang, let's wrap everything up. Uh, you know, no point doing this. It was more a case of... There's no way Pokemania will continue. This was a very small craze that we have all cashed in on. And then we can move on from our lives. But then Gen 2 came out and it sold really well as well. And they were like, Guys, I think we should keep making money. Like, Pokemon wasn't projected to do very well outside of Japan. And then when it did, it was like... I remember from Wacky Gen 5 Discourse as OMG were finally getting Hone Remakes? Yeah, I definitely thought that. 
I definitely thought Ho and Remakes were a shoe in I mean, we got Gen 1 and Gen 3, we got Gen 2 and Gen 4. We must get Gen 3 and Gen 5. That just makes sense. And I also thought, wait, Dive is back? Dive balls have had have had their description changed to say Pokemon underwater? Curious. Even though there's no Pokemon caught underwater. It just seemed very obvious to me at the time. Even though that obviously ended up being wrong. And part of me wonders, as a result, if it was intended. But we can never really know, right? We never know if they were thinking about it. I feel like the colours of the two... <laughs> okay, I don't remember that. That, okay. Maybe people were grasping at straws more than I thought. Clearly Ruby and Sapphire are coming. I mean, it's worth noting that every single game has been... Like, red and blue to some extent, right? Apart from gold and silver, I guess. Like, ruby and sapphire, those are red and blue. Diamond and pearl, diamonds are blue, pearls are red. Black two, white two. Even just black and white, but they got red and blue on them. Zekrom and Rishram, they got it, they got red and blue. X and Y, they're coloured red and blue. Sun and moon, sun's red, the moon and the logo is blue. Sword and shield. But what colour are the sword and the shield? They're red and blue. Scarlet and violet? Those are just types of red and blue. <laughs> the moon is blue. You have to go with me on this one. Gold and silver? More like red and blue. Crystal, that's the green one out of the set. Yeah, crystal is actually, uh, crystals are yellow. Um, emeralds are also yellow. Platinum, have you ever seen a platinum in real life? They're yellow. <laughs> you, got, you gotta go with me on this one. I always felt like platinum. So here's the thing, <laughs> a platinum, a platinum one, yeah. Name, naming convention wise, shouldn't crystal and platinum have been swapped? Gold, silver, and platinum? That makes sense. Diamond, pearl, and crystal? That makes sense. When I say them like that, it doesn't even sound wrong, does it? I hope someone got fi yeah, I hope someone got fired for that. I remember seeing it as a thematic tie to Gen 2. It's possible. this <laughs> sucking for your mind body and stew yeah this is called something jazzy for your mind by ollie king or from ollie king rather probably i remember any discussions on serbi forums about how the third game was going to be pokemon girasol Oh, I, 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 I'm hyped for Pokemon Girasol. Yoshina isn't even the third one, doesn't come after Dragon <laughs> Palkia in the decks. <laughs> what does? Isn't it Heatran? Dang, I can't wait for Pokemon Heatran version. Heatran and Regigigas, that's actually the second paired version here. Guess what? Oh no, Phantom. What? What am I guessing? What's wrong? Phantom, what's happening? Phantom! Phantom! This is Naganuma 2. Oh. Wait, you love that guy. I 
Um, Red Gigas, honestly, it could do with, like, a game. I'm just gonna say it. Red Gigas needs, like, a whole ass game to redeem him. He needs a whole game where he gets a form at the end that doesn't have slow start. That's- oh, that's- that's what he needs. There is no saving Reggie Gigas outside of that. <laughs> Doesn't matter what cool side content you give him. He's always gonna be just so bad if you don't give him an entire game. Sucking for stew. <laughs> Who up sucking for stew? My tinfoil is a magic arch swap into Dragonite and Dragonair into, Ga <laughs> into Gyarados. Based on looks and at some point they swap the sprites. No, yeah, definitely, definitely. They did the same thing actually with um, Squirtle and Goldeen. I was, I've actually heard that one before. Uh, like, it does make a bit more sense. But then you kind of look at Dragonair and Dragonite and you you say they do have the same soft eyes is the best way I could say it. Like, Gyarados is just such a threatening creature. But Dragonite is just soft and playful. You know what I mean? Charlotte, have you ever you ever sucked for stew? Uh, Charlotte, actually, genuine question. How wild would you go if I put this on right now? If I if I put on this pumpkin stem, how wild would you go? Yeah, exactly. Do <laughs> it, please. Yeah, see, that's exactly why I can't put that on. I the cart turns into a dragon is based on a Japanese myth. I actually don't remember if it's a Japanese myth. I know it's a myth. But, um... Yeah, it's the story of a... Of a, of a koi. A koi fish. That swam up a waterfall and became a dragon. That's what it's based on. That's why it does that in Pokemon Snap. So in Pokemon Snap, you have to help the Magikarp up the waterfall in order to get Gyarados. Gyarados and Carp both have whiskers. Yeah, there's just so much in common. And they both have the same crest thing. I can certainly understand the concept, but I, I just don't think it's true. I just think that they went a really weird direction with what they did with Dragonite compared to Dragonair. So Charlotte, how was your day today? What did you do? Charlotte, did you have any childhood uh, books or stories or anything that used to scare you or unsettle you in any way? Just as a question. Work? Well, Charlotte, if you earned any money, feel free to donate it to the Campaign for Southern Equality. This is a charity stream where you can, via exclamation mark, donate or with the pinned message, donate to the Campaign for Southern Equality, a charity who work in 15 states in the southern US in order to improve access to care, help provide resources, assist in registering voters, combat harmful legislation against LGBTQ plus people, and provide funding and training to organizers and healthcare workers. They basically just do everything they can in order to improve the lives of LGBTQ plus folk who live in those states. Don't remember much about my childhood? Real. I didn't have one. You know, like the dragoner should evolve into Lapras? Lapras should just have something. You know what I mean? It's weird that Lapras doesn't have something. Up to nearly 5k encounters already? Yes! So, Pokemon Leaf Green itself, um, spoke to me. I don't think other people saw it, I don't think it really happened, but I don't know. But Pokemon Leaf Green itself said, You will get your shiny at 5,555. It shall be done. Are you supposed to be a pumpkin right now? I am a maid. I am a pumpkin maid. This is a long dance. I wanted to show off my outfit.
How are you gonna get to 5555 when the counter goes up by 4 every time? That's not up to me to know, okay? The visions told me. The Oracle. Like using Lapson Let's Go since you ride it on water. That's one thing I liked about Gyarados. Outfit, thank you. This was purchased for me by a viewer. I forget if this was an anonymous one. I think it was. This was either an anonymous one or it was purchased by Maverick. I can't remember which one it was. Um, and it is on the cosplay wheel, which was spun on stream the other day. The cosplay wheel, which makes me dress up in one of my really weird outfits uh, for all of your joy and viewing pleasure. Should I get into the maid character? Take a pre-evolution for Lapras? I would like pre-evolutions for more Pokemon. I just understand why they don't do them, because they're not as exciting, right? Like. No one loses it over a pre-evolution being revealed. They're like, they're not like, oh my god, finally, baby Absol, whoa! Is that what you call everyone senpai? <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you, sir? Not a fan of that then. Not a fan of that then. Okay, okay. Not a fan of that then. Yes, you can help by please never saying that again. Okay. I never will. But no, I think that Pokemon that could do with pre-evolutions, outside of the, um, outside of the, the quote-unquote obvious ones, right? Like Tropius or Absol, stuff that's just like a one stage that could just do with a pre-evolution so that it can be obtained earlier in the game. There are two Pokemon that I would really like to get pre-evolutions. Or rather, one that I think they just missed the the ball on. And that one is Flamigo. I think Flamigo should have had a, a baby. Because they're everywhere in the starting areas and I don't really like that. Because it's obviously just a Flamingo and it's sitting there and it doesn't evolve, it doesn't do anything. But if you've ever seen what a baby Flamingo looks like, they are unassuming white chicks, and that's all they are. And I would have loved just a little normal flying tiny chick that's just cute and fluffy, and you just don't know what it's gonna be. And then it turns into a gigantic flamingo, and you're like, oh, I get it. That's what I would have liked. I think it would have fleshed out flamingo a lot more. I think people would like it better. Although evidently people like it enough for you to have an emote for it. Wait! Enough for you to have an emote for it! Wait! <laughs> um... The other one that I would really like to get a pre-evolution... And this is just me being stupid at this point, but I think it would be funny... Is Duraludon. Because I would love it if Duraludon started out as a one stage and slowly became a pseudo legendary as time went on. Because <laughs> our Chalodon has a 600 base stat total. <laughs> I just think that would be quite funny if it became a cross generational pseudo. <sighs> but I don't think they will. I don't think they really do pre evolutions anymore. I kind of just gave up with it. Like, last time we got one was Gen 4, right? We never got- yeah, it has to have been. I'd say Eevee after being something stupid? No, no, my stupid ideas are still really good. Like, you're- you're built different, but the- like, wow, we have really specific and similar likes, apparently. I'm Drowd and Baby Now Game Freak? It would be funny, right? It would be very funny! 
I would just, I would love it to be a pseudo across three different generations. It would tickle me. Yeah. Love my ambiguous metal kaiju that's marked as Tarantar's rival. Yeah. I don't really know why they did that. I don't think I don't think Dralad and Tyranitar would be talking to each other. What should baby Dralad be based on? Was the baby form of a building? It's a scaffold. Scaffolding, I guess. I pretend the G Max doesn't exist. There's a part of me that's kinda of wondering if um Arch Aladdin would get like a mega in ZA to look like Lumio's Tower. So that they can keep it coming in and being all the famous landmarks of the world. <sighs> I'm sure Coronet was gonna be a one stage. I wanna play the game for my favorite Pokemon as a baby farm, the Colony Ravenmon. Oh, did they reveal Coronet beforehand? I knew nothing about Sword and Shield. They came out. I avoided everything. I only knew the starters and vaguely the covers. True with Dreadnought. They reveal the oddest Pokemon before these games. I avoid all new information for Pokemon games that come out. I've done it since Gen 7. I just don't look at a single thing that is that is that is being re released. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that anymore. Which is upsetting. See, if Alchemy had been spoiled, my heart would have been broken. Because when my Mill City turned into an Alchemy, I was just in love. It's one of my top 10 favorite Pokemon. I could never. I would not have felt that. If it, if it had just been revealed in a video. That's just not how I personally work. Yeah, I probably won't be able to do that anymore because I wasn't really. I, basically, what I would do is I would just escape from the internet for all that time. That's not really going to be an option anymore, is it? Avoid leaks, but the official marketing is also a bit much at times. As soon as they drop a trailer for the new game, I just unsubscribe from the Pokemon channel. I tip it, and anytime anyone posts something in my feed that's like a spoiler, uh, uh, like in my subscription feed on YouTube or whatever, I like defocus my eyes, look away, find their channel, and unsubscribe from them. I just want you to know that if you do clickbait thumbnails, you lose me. You lose me. It happens. It could happen to you too. Because <sighs> I just do not care about Pokemon I get like spoiled on. But the thing is, I'm especially weird about this. When I played through Sun and Moon, I was using a Charger Bug on my team. Because I loved it. I mean, why would I not? It's a perfect little bus. It's brilliant in every way. I'm having a horrible sense of deja vu. Oh my god, have I already done this? What is happening right now? But anyway, um... And I was doing the electric trial. And the electric trial, they were just like... Oh god, I had to fight a grubbin and then a charger bug. And then we're seeing the first person perspective of the totem flying towards it. And it's like, no, we're not doing this. So I get a bag of crisps. That's chips for you Americans out there. I put it on my top screen and I cover the bit on the bottom screen that shows what the Pokemon I'm fighting against is. And I just used attacks with my Mudsdale. I did not, I was just like, no, I'm not doing this. Normally I wouldn't be this silly, but we're doing this right now. <laughs> you get really bad deja vu sometimes too. It really took me out of it right there. Respect, I'm, I'm built different. I don't normally like, like, something in the game itself is not a spoiler, you know what I mean? Like, it's just not. But as a result, Vikavolt's actual reveal was much cooler to me, even if it was right at the end of the game. It was awesome to see. Crab rolling into Kerbalinable? Not so much. Not so much. I'll thank Baby Farm, it's just the udders walking on the teats like legs. Uh, mods, mods, um... Uh, delete Ashrand from reality. 
Best crab. Are you a Crabominable fan? Crabominable has fans? I did not know. Ex existence, yes. Well, there you go. Crabominable has fans. What's funny is that my uh, crab brawler... <laughs> and I don't, I don't know... I don't know that people will necessarily believe me in this. My crab brawler all that time ago was called Crabeca. That's what I called her. <laughs> it was one of the first things I said to Crabeca herself when she came into my chat. I was like, that's what I called my crab brawler. <laughs> For some reason I had this idea of crab brawler just becoming bigger and lankier and being like, like clobstered or something, you know? But no, it stayed as it was. Um, no, my actual issue with Crabominable, right, is not that I dislike it. It's that Crab Roller is left-handed and Crabominable is right-handed and it bothers me. It's like... Why? I feel like they might have been originally supposed to be version exclusives or something. Like counterparts rather than the same Pokémon. I don't know, it's just very weird. Cal Marshall, thank you very much for the follow. I was too drunk before it sobered up and climbed a mountain. Yeah. Are we at 5k yet? Not quite. When we get to 5k, I'm gonna go to the bathroom for a couple minutes. Well, I'm gonna go to the bathroom for as long as it takes, right? But like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and take a break for a couple of minutes. <laughs> And then we will continue on with the Mewtwo grind. But he doesn't like ambidextrous people. It just bugs me that it was left-handed representation and then they took it away, you know? It feels inconsistent. Pokemon that change one of their defining features upon evolution just feels odd to me. If Krabalmer will punch with his right hand, that would make more sense. But, sorry, if Krabalmer will punch with his left hand, that would make more sense. Actually, an ambidextrous quote-unquote Pokemon that I really do like is Scovillain. Um, I don't know if people have noticed this before, but Scovillain's animations, the red head does all of the physical attacks, and the green head does all of the special attacks. I just think that's cool. Oh, they did not need to do that, but they did. He doesn't have hands. He's got two heads, which is what- that's why I said, like, whatever I said. I gave you a- I gave you a- I, I give you a qualitative measure for which my statement was accurate. That absolutely sold me on Crabominable is the fact it punches the floor as it walks with a part on its claws that creates what looks like Yeti footprints. Wait, is that how it walks? Actually, you might be selling me on it right now. Hold up. That never really occurred to me. Oh my god, that's why it's gone. Oh my god, I get it now. I get why its hands look like that. Wait. Wait, that's cool though. Wait. I'm going live on stream? It's happened before. Literally cool, it is the only ice type in Alola, yeah. Wow, it's the only gen 7 ice type, brother. Depends on how you want to count um, Vulpix and Sanctuary, obviously, but I don't really count them as Gen 7 Pokemon. Okay. Alright, one more set of Mewtwo, and then I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Which is probably for the best. This is what happens when you drink fluid. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna get it at 5,000? Hopefully not, because I really gotta go. Does not look like it, but maybe... No. Sadly not. Sadly not. But hey, we hit 5,000. We're only 555 away from Guaranteed Shiny. That's what Pokemon Leaf Green said. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take a small break. I'll be back in like three minutes. We'll continue the grind. I recommend that you look after yourself in that time too. Stretch, get up, get a drink, something like that. And I will be right back. That's not my webcam. That's my donation bar. Let's try that again.
I am struggling to get this maid mod back on. I'm just like, I'm right here. Let's find a shiny larvitar? Wait, that's awesome though. Okay, there we go. It's in. It's in. It's definitely in. Okay, yeah, we didn't get a Mewtwo here. What is the- what- what- what have I left you with? Spicy C from Sonic Shuffle. I'm so sorry. Here we go. I fuck with yellow shinies? Like in Pokemon Yellow or just like the color yellow? You know, I've just seen your username and I'm realizing you definitely the color yellow, huh? I've just accepted this as my new music taste. Yeah, whatever Lottie can put on, that's where the straight bangers are. Um, yellow shinies are fine. I'm trying to think of one that I like like. Shiny Shinx is quite good, even if I'm not that big a fan of Shinx. No extends? We're only three hours in, Phantom. flavored clock. Thank you very much for the follow. Any excuse to read out that username, right? <laughs> what does it mean? What does it mean? Alright, fair enough. You read it so carefully too. I did, I did. Another chips old banger. A clock that has been pissed on? I guess that makes sense, right? At least it has a reason, you know? Because that's certainly one of the usernames I've seen of all time. It's <laughs> like a clock. I guess you could have been called Annaling, right? The fact that's the name you chose, power move. Power move. Midnight, perfect time to make a sandwich? It's never the wrong time to make a sandwich. When you think about that, you realize it's true. What there's someone with a gun who says they'll shoot you if you make a sandwich? Uh, that is actually that that is probably not an optimal time to make a sandwich. Now that you mention it. Okay, so maybe there are bad times to make sandwiches. I didn't. I just meant time of day, right? I didn't mean like time of time of gunman. What's the most you've ever drunk in one sitting? Has anyone ever had a yard of ale? Do they still do yards of ale? I don't know.
a yard of ale was like this. It was like a. It, well, it was a yard, right? It was like this gigantic tube that had the the area inside it of a yard, and they would just fill it up with beer. And it was just really awkward to hold, but you were supposed to just drink the whole thing. It was it was like bachelor parties and stuff, I think. A yard of ale. Bachelorette parties would never. I don't know how long you stretch one sitting. I've gone through a bottle of vodka over a few hours. That's very real. Sometimes vodka is the only thing that can help with sadness. Shout out to the time I drank shots on my own in my room while playing Breath of the Wild and getting steadily worse and worse at it. I was trying to go through one of the labyrinths and it was getting harder and harder the longer the night went on. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I've been here. I don't remember why I was doing that. Like, as someone who has been drunk in my life single digit times, the fact that's one of them is just really funny to me. Zelda A Wild Breath. It was so confusing. I didn't know where I was. I was so scared. That's why I'm fact one of the justifications was abandoning metrification several years ago. They have never stopped offering yards of ale. Well, there you go. Ash drinks Yards of Ale on the regular. Good to know. The sadness makes the vodka taste better. Okay, actually, real talk, I can't drink spirits anymore. I got drunk once off of gin. Um... That was a case where it was, but it was for sad reasons. And it was all that was there, it was all that was in the house, um, was gin. And honestly, even, I, I, so I ended up getting a bit, a bit, a bit drunk, a wee bit drunk, a tiny bit drunk, and I, like, sore head, sore body, threw up. And as a result, the smell of spirits, or even talking too much about drinking them, if I can get if I get too quote unquote visual in my head, I start to like gag. Like I don't think I can ever go back to my my wonderful lifestyle of vodka, my lifestyle that was not a lifestyle at all, which I'm quite glad of, all things considered. Can't drink because my antidepressants. You're not supposed to drink on antidepressants. That's why Ash doesn't drink on antidepressants, actually. Oh. Oh, oh I see. It was a question. Is it a death cell? No, I genuinely only had vodka a few times, I swear. I was never an alcoholic. I was never I was never cool enough to go to parties or anything either. I went to a couple. But my drink of choice was always vodka, because I've tried a few other things and it's like, literally why bother? It all tastes awful, might as well just down shots. The time I've ever been drunk, I went home to watch the Owl House final final. I think it just unleashed my true feelings. One of the times I got drunk, actually, I watched, was when I watched the ending of The Good Place, and I did not stop crying and crying and crying so much all the way through it. And then after it was over, I just kept trying to play Smash Bros. Ultimate with people. And then I started a new save file in Three Houses because no one played Smash Bros. Ultimate with me. Probably because I call it Smash Bros. Ultimate, not just Smash Ultimate. I'm a friend Discord and I wrote kill on repeat followed with yes. I can't say I know anything about the owl house, so I'm just gonna have to trust that that makes any sense. I made my Twitch account very hungover, you can see it was on January the 1st. Real. A good place ending had me like that too. Right? I didn't expect that. I think my drunkenness only added to it, because I remember everything that happened and it just made me more emotional. I'm a very emotional drunk. I'm not a violent one. 
I'm just a sad one. Sad, floppy one. Only alcoholic thing I've ever thought tasted okay is rum when it's in desserts. I just think it's all awful. It's just all bleh. The worst meds for less well, and they slow down alcohol metabolism. You get drunk really fast. So one of the reasons that I didn't drink very often is that I had a tumor for like over three years of my life, and I was on constant painkillers all the way through that. As a result, like paracetamol, ibuprofen, just alternating, trying to just stay sane because it hurts so much. It hurts so much every single day, uh, to the point where it's like, wow, I might actually remove this myself. With a knife. It was very sore. It was blinding. I was screaming. I couldn't eat. I felt like I was going to throw up from the pain. Things like that. You know. So I was on painkillers that whole time. And as a result, I didn't really drink very much. Because you're not supposed to drink while you're taking paracetamol. Because it's very bad for you. But I also didn't... I didn't want to be a square in front of my friends. So I would still do it anyway. Discovered I am a cuddly drunk. What my tolerances be if I wasn't depressed? Yeah, it affects your tolerances. It was the death of the main villain who is actually that scary to me. I've had nightmares about him. He just seems like someone who would want me dead if he was real. And that really unsettled me way more than a cartoon has any right to. That is very specific. But yes, just, just so that no one worries, I'm fine now. They got it out. I'm okay. I I have not sometimes I get phantom pains and I'm just like, oh my god, please no. But it's 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 gone. Which is awesome. Love that for me. actually crazy to me how resilient human- <laughs> Sorry about that, Lottie. Oh, don't worry about it, Phantom. Phantom causes me pain occasionally. Yeah. Okay, you know what, Charlotte? I'll make a deal with you. I'll make a deal with you. If we hit $700, I will wear the pumpkin stamp on my head. If we hit $700 donated to the campaign for Southern Equality, I'll wear the pumpkin stamp on my head. But yeah, it's crazy to me just how resilient um, people are, because that was like three years of my life, and I thought I was going mad by the end of it just from the sheer pain, and yet I... I'm fine now. It's only been a couple of years since it was removed, and even just a few months later, as soon as I was off crutches, I was back. I had bounced back. I was fine. It's like, oh my god. The mental fortitude of the human body. That's crazy to me. I thought I was I thought I was actually gonna lose myself forever. For three dollars bet. Wait, why three? Oh. Did I Do you mean to say seven fifty? Did I not say seven fifty? Did I say 700? Well, okay. I have- I have- okay. I, I have to do it. I have to do it. Okay, I, I- okay. I meant- okay. Oops. Oopsies. Okay. Charlotte, quick, smash or pass? I'm sorry it's so floppy. It just kind of does that. You smash pumpkins, surely? Exactly. Despite all my heart, I am still just a worm in a shirt. Okay, actually, despite all that work I just did, I think it's better this way. 
So I put it on this way around, it can go backwards, and that looks better. Come on, work with me here. Thoughts? Do I look like a pumpkin? Am I round? Am I round, chat? Okay, well, Charlotte, thank you very much for your $3 donation to the Campaign for Southern Equality. Even if it was a bit of a mess up on my end, uh, it got you to donate $3, so... That's good. I'm trying to get us to call you fat? No, round in an emotional sense. You know? Why would I try and get people to call me fat? Is I get physical? Well, I mean, I'm a pumpkin! I actually have a pumpkin outfit that is what this stem is supposed to go with, but I am not wearing that on stream again. Fuck you, make sure a round pumpkin. Truly, that goof and pumpkin top makes this costume less sexual than with the maid thingy. Okay, so this stem comes from a different outfit that I wore once on stream, felt really self-conscious in because it's low cut down to like here, hangs on with tiny thin little straps. You can't wear anything underneath it because of how low cut it is. The whole thing, it was like, this was, I regret owning this. It's also really short, like, I don't, it doesn't even go down to my knees, it's meh. Icky. But the stem's cute. I'd say you don't look round physically. Thank you. I try and tell myself that every day. But am I round spiritually? Do I have a do I have a round soul? If I said be there or be square, release the low cut of pumpkin cosplay? No. I don't think I can do that. Round? Round. Emotional roundness. Oh, sorry, I was thanking Charlotte for the $3. Charlotte, Charlotte, thank you for the $3. I was thanking the wrong person. I just realized there. Roamed. I am very roamed. I do love the boy. Sphila is just such a perfect little creature. I once went through all of the Pokemon, like all of the three stage grass, fire and water types to try and see what Pokemon could have been starters that weren't, right? Like what could there have been? And literally the only one that I felt really fit the criteria was Feel. I didn't feel like any other Pokemon that was a three stage grass, fire, water type could have ever been a starter Pokemon. Sphila was the only one that gave the vibes. But yeah, no, I don't think I don't think I'll be wearing that pumpkin outfit ever again. This the VOD exists of me wearing it. It's a random fool's gold VOD. But you can tell all throughout it that I'm just like really uncomfortable in it. It doesn't feel right wearing something that revealing on stream. It's not very me. It's not even the most revealing pumpkin themed outfit I have now that I think about it, but 
I don't need to talk about that. The purple one? No, it was orange. Just have to... component. That's what I'm wearing. My phone and the webcam is tiny? Good. I only have the webcam because I feel like I have to. I don't have it because I want to show my face on the internet. I should just wear a mask. That's what I should do. I should wear a, um, like a masquerade mask kind of thing that covers my eyes, gives me like one of those big long hook noses. No, that's a plague doctor mask. Hold on. You're the ones I'm talking about though, the mask. Ma <laughs> you, know you see, yeah, you know the one, you know the one. I, I got, I got to confuse with the plague doctor mask. I don't think I should wear a plague doctor mask on stream. Unless... I do love that hassle thinking about. I sandwich damn these physics. Did you try and make it in real life or in Scarlet Violet? Because it's really funny if you failed at making a sandwich in real life because of the physics. Did I just hit that twice? Did I just hit that twice? I might have just hit that twice. Did I hit that twice? I don't know. Did I hit that twice? Did we just jump from 5100 to 5108? I might have hit that twice. I had like a finger twitch. We're gonna bank on me having hit it twice. I probably hit it twice. It's okay. I fail IRLs. I don't have sandwich ingredients. Honestly, though, if you had 200, actually 600, I guess, pepper slices in your pockets at all times, I'd be concerned. That's this life. The only character in all the Pokemon's made me laugh so hard I cried. <laughs> Scarlet and Violet are like good. They're well written games. Genuinely, like all of this, all the characters and stuff are just so well done. It's a shame that the, you know, the programmers kind of took the day off. Is up a 600 999? Well, 999 wouldn't be 999 though, right? It'd be... It's 2,997. Carmine? Carmine is the weird one because it's like... It feels like she's supposed to be written as a sort of... Almost even abusive sibling. But then actually, no, she's in the right and everything's fine and Kieran is just a problem and yeah, Carmine was fine the whole time and nothing nothing needed to be resolved there. It's fine. I don't know, it's just very odd. On Pokemon Blue. See, one day I'll say that and it'll be the shiny and I'll be like, oh! Is that the way I hate the new, the new Pokemon now? Solely the DLC has ruined Pokemon for me because my own past. 
Well, now I'm curious, but I also wonder if I shouldn't cry. Out there, but I felt Scarlet Violet might have been perfect if they didn't try to tackle some ambitious open world concept. Genuinely, I. There's nothing wrong with Roots. There's nothing wrong with Roots. You know? People keep saying they want an open world Pokemon game, and the thing is, this wasn't it because it doesn't have level scaling and stuff, so it just doesn't work for that. But. It doesn't. I don't know, it just kind of shows that that doesn't really work, because unless you're purposely trying to be obtuse, you're just going to do stuff in the same order anyway with how they laid it out, right? I don't know, maybe that's just me. It's like some stuff is just further away. It's just not set up right to be an open world game. Maybe that's just because of the way they did it, right? Maybe it would be completely and totally possible, but... Now the connect places just feel open than an open world with uh, Yeah, exactly, right? It's better to hint at things than to show nothing. Really special, just a comfort game, feel like it turned against me. Look at the bullying sister, the good guy, and the bully chai kid, the villain. They didn't even do anything with Kieran either. They were clearly implying he'd been possessed by Petrodon or something, right? The fact that he was able to bring back the loyal three. But nothing happened as a result of that. That's never mentioned again. He also mumbles occasionally in darkness, but that's never confirmed to be linked to Petron, and indeed Petron is asleep the whole time, so it makes no sense to be linked to Petron. But if it's not linked to Petron, then why was it there? It doesn't really make any sense. Um, you know what? Let's do the beach music. We've not had the beach music in a while. I like the beach music. Sue me. Oh, Pikachu Potter, hello. How are you today? Okay, maybe I don't like the beach music that much. Maybe a bit too loud. Maybe, maybe a bit too loud, the beach music. Go to bed and have a good rest of the stream. Thank you very much, Kai. Rest well. Dream of triangles. Specifically equilateral ones. We're just over 400 encounters away from our guaranteed shiny Mewtwo. Confirmed by Pokemon Leaf Green itself. I love the beach music. I'm never gonna get I'm never gonna get sick of it. Is anyone else sick of it? Or is, I hope not. Cause I'm not, and I never will be. I'm just trying to find a good volume for it. See that's too quiet. Come on. Why is there no middle ground? I think that's the middle ground. It's like my brain associates what Pokemon appear and what route. Scarlet Violet really feels like any Pokemon lives in specific- Yes! Pokemon just- I don't know, it just doesn't- Very little was memorable to me about where Pokemon were because they weren't on routes. I 
don't know, some stuff's just everywhere. Like, Pommy is everywhere, for example. They're just everywhere. So this is Charlotte and her stream last time she was live, that I can rant about this for hours because I can and will. We've all got those, we've all got those things, right, Robin? Agkuma, thank you very much for the follow. The follow. The British accent took over there and I just ignored the second syllable in that word. Thank you very much for the follow. Gaming scheme feels even less memorable when you have Western Area 3. Yeah, it's just weird. I don't know. Like, the caves and stuff were, were actually quite nice. Real, real talk. Um, they weren't visually distinct, which is a problem, but they were laid out in not just straight paths, you know what I mean? Which was cool. Hello, Akuma. Welcome in. They were having bad experiences from doing so. So I kept quiet a while about how sad it made me all because I was basically re-traumatized by someone telling me that my feelings as a bullying victim didn't matter. Well, look, at least you know that I'm on your side because I, like... I, I noticed it and thought it was funky to begin with. There's a structure, Alpha Nada Cave is definitely a highlight. I also, and this is like obviously really late in, so it should be good. I really liked the area zero depths. Um that was really cool too. I liked how it had that one hidden bit that's actually quite hard to find. That just gave you like a billion of each Terra shard. And the TM for Meteor Beam. Which is a really cool TM for it to give you because it it's like that that's the meteor that landed. Junk and high at the moment, so life is great. Can't really get much better. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I'm glad you're thriving. Do also, of course, make sure to take care of yourself with, like, water and stuff. But life is for thriving, and you are doing that. <laughs> is Coca-Cola my water? That's good enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm not your mom. That's fine. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure it works out. I'm sure, it's fine. I sensed something, but I was wrong. Looking for shiny in Area Zero, kinda. Want to see if I'll notice a shiny frost moth? That's certainly one of the things of all time that you could look for. Um, it stands out a little bit, frost moth. Uh, but in Area Zero, it's much harder to see than in the mountain. Just because there's already green in Area Zero. But I think most shinies, you will just notice them because they stand out among the other Pokemon that are there that are not shiny. You know what I mean? Area Zero wasn't even on my mind. It's part of the game for a moment. So the thing with the... I was just talking specifically about the Area Zero deaths because I think we just all acknowledge Area Zero is fantastic. Um, The thing with Area Zero that actually really gets me is that when Charlotte and I were going through all of the Pokemon that can be caught in the wild in Scarlet Violet so that we could rank all their shiny colors and then make the then I could make the randomizer almost every single Pokemon we were just both just there like that's an area zero right <laughs> like area zero is so vast and full of like little environmental features and things like that and so full of Pokemon that we could picture any Pokemon is being down there, pretty much, from the Scarlet Violet roster, which is just really cool.
This is a daily routine for me. Is that safe? <laughs> what does shiny me on the bottom right game look like? I actually don't know. I assume green. Not really being drunk, but being high. But uh, that's a little bit better, I guess. I think. I don't have any experiences with getting high. I have never done drugs. Yeah, I don't know what a shiny Mewtwo in Generation 2 looks like, actually. I'm gonna look that up just now. It's still green. It's still green. That's what I suspected. It's still green. Just move Mesa goes on the gyms along with all the Pokemon into Area Zero. See? You get it. Okay, but unironically, imagine a full game that took place in somewhere like Area Zero. Like, it would have genuinely been more interesting. But that's just because Area Zero is its own thing, but I can say that because it is a small part. It, it's a whole thing. I house my ADHD and autism. Oh, true, it is actually. I don't know much about it, genuinely, but, th but that is that is something I've heard before. Corroborated by a medical... Uh, I was gonna call our face a medical professional. I don't think that's fair. What is Orpheus? Orpheus is my medical advisor. Yeah, I've been told that it helps to deal with stuff. That's definitely something that I've heard before. They didn't create the big open safari that an open world is trying to be anyway. <sighs> okay, real talk. I don't actually- I don't like the terrarium. Is that just me? It might just be me. It just... It feels too big for how not that varied the Pokemon in there are. I don't know. I'm also confused by some of their choices of Pokemon in there. Like, what is Rabska doing in the, in Area Zero? As in Area Zero, what is Rabska doing in the Terrarium? Rabskas and Relor? I've never seen a Relor in there. I just want to say that up front. I've never seen one. I've only ever seen the Rabska. But they're like the only Gen Nine Pokemon in there, right? That aren't just evolutions of past Gen Pokemon. Why are they there? What are they doing there? Unironically, when I saw the Terra Rabska in there that the first time, I was like, did they give Rabska a further evolution or something? Like, why is it here? But no, it's just there. I didn't really get that. I don't know what it's doing there. It's such a strange pick. <laughs> Rolling shit or something? True. I don't know. It's just like, when you visit an old region in the new game, and they've got new Pokemon, the new Pokemon don't feel so new. Welcome in, random skinwalker. My content is always W content, as you as you know. Other lone executor in it, but you can't evolve and execute into it. Why is that a thing, though? Genuinely, I really thought that you were going to be able to evolve them in the coastal biome into their lowen farms, but no, no, no alone right here, no alone executor, no. Some tattoos on your face, right? God, I'm not cool enough to have an Electivire tattoo take up most of my face. Uh, they're stickers. Um, by donating five dollars, maybe I shouldn't say this if you're drunk and high, but by donating five dollars to the campaign for Southern Equality, you can have me put a sticker on my face. But like, <laughs> but, but 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 you know, within your means, right? This is this is a charity stream. Um, where we're raising money for charity stuff. I 
and for 50... <laughs> hey, they're just stuck on really well. Trust. Being neurodiversity, I gotta bully my brain to sleep now because I have no methylphenidate. Night night, Strimmer. Night night, Ash. Thank you very much for stopping by. It's always lovely to see you. I'm so excited to see how they're gonna handle it, making like regional energy spots or something. It just opted to not. It would have made sense too, right? Because they have the big ball on the roof that um, makes Terra stuff work there. That I really thought was going to turn out to be villainous and Autogen because they were purposefully vague about what it was made of. But no, it was fine. It was all safe. It was good. It was cool. I really thought it was going to be something important, but no, it was okay. Um, I, I just thought Briar was going to be the villain of the piece and she just wasn't. <laughs> Alright. Will we ever get some W Persona content? <laughs> Do you want to see me play Persona? I don't own any- I actually- I own Persona 4, does that count? I own Persona 4 for the PS2. I could whip that out one day. Find a waste on my salary and my new saltwater tank. Well, I hope you're very happy in it. <laughs> Everyone needs someone in their life who's as optimistic as Random Skinwalker is for me. PS2 Persona 4 would be insane. I prefer not to play like super long RPGs on stream because it's like you just get stuck with it forever, you know what I mean? I've seen the first like half of Persona 5. Um I don't actually don't know if it's half of it. I've seen some of it though. It's like, it did make me sit there and think, like, I've seen all of Persona 3 as well. It's like, I could do some sort of challenge run. I could just jump in and do some sort of bizarre thing. But it's like, any challenge run that I could think of and that I could do, someone else will have already done for a game like Persona. You can get through a JRPG over a Pride one. That's true, but I don't normally stream every day. I normally, what I do is I stream four days a week. And like every Wednesday, for example, has the same game until that game is done. So the games are weekly. So if I'm playing a JRPG and I'm only playing it every Wednesday, it takes a long time to get through it. You'll stream every day every Pride Month from now on. Well, I didn't do I didn't do every day this Pride Month. I've taken two days off so far. Pathetic as my mortal vessel is, it does need the occasional rest. It's 118 gallons? You must be thirsty. Brought a Narwin black and white clownfish, which is super expensive in Sweden. Only cost about 60 US dollars. Wait, that whole tank is for one fish? Pocky! I know I already saw you earlier this stream, but I'm always happy to see you. Still no Mewtwo? Uh, we're closing in, we're closing in. We were guaranteed at 5555. Five, five, five. Guaranteed by Pokemon Leaf Green itself. Don't be having Octopath 2 and barely default to on pause while replaying Golden Sun for the 20th time. I lost Octopath 2. I lost it in the custody battle. Um, when I split up with my ex, I had to like move away from the guinea pigs, move, move into this house, stuff like that. Um, I lost Octopath 2 and Tears of the Kingdom. She kept them. It's like, damn it. <laughs> Octopath Traveler is one of my favourite games of all time. I was so excited about that sequel. But no, she took it. It's like, I can't afford it. I want to know what happens to Particio. <laughs> Are we two married? No. Thankfully not. Like, not as in, thankfully not, because that would be the end of my life. Thankfully not, because that would have been much messier than, damn it, she took my Octopath too! <laughs> you know what I mean? There'd be so much more to it. Got a bunch of fishes with buying the tank. To be honest, I just wanted to say the prices for saltwater fish are dumb in Sweden. 
I guess they want to make sure... Well, either maybe they're hard to get in because it's... I don't know. But I guess they just want to make sure people can look after them. Maybe that... Is that optimistic of me? Might be optimistic of me. Always happy to see you too. Woohoo! Worse if married. Yeah, worse if married. Was custody battles hit different? Look, I, I get to see my guinea pigs once every couple months and I'm always excited about it. So crying over my entire collection gone. Collection of children. She took Legends Arceus as well, so it's like <laughs> Can't do that one either. I wanted to do something with that for Pride Month, but it's like, oh yeah, I can't. I don't own it anymore. It's gone. <laughs> Yo, fuck Legends. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best Pokemon game? We got disagreements. I don't remember what else I just lost out on. Um, Tears of the Kingdom is the big one, though. I also lost Fire Emblem Engage, but I don't really care much about that one. Thankfully, I kept 3D All-Stars. Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I kind of had to fight for that one. Because it's like, no, you can't get that anymore. You can't have that. I will concede on Tears of the Kingdom if I must, even though I like really want 100% that, and that is my game of the year 2023. But you can't have 3D All Stars. You can't. Because I've had it so hard to get into Sweden, and because they want people to. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I guessed both of them. Yeah, I wanted to do something with Legends Arceus just because it's like different. I don't know. See, the other thing is we're closing in on 493 followers, which is Arceus's number. It's like, I don't have a challenge on I can do for that game because I don't own that game. It's tragic. The thing is, I've already played it once and I don't... Look, that I'm not too caught up about that one because I don't think I would actually play it again. Like, that one's... Octopath 2, though! Octopath 2! Guess what? I guess, I guess that it was because they were hard to get into Sweden and because they want people who can take care of them. I got it. I guessed it. I guessed both things. I guessed both fish. <sighs> Plus my N64, limited edition Majora's Mask, new 3DS, first ever Xbox 360, Wii U, Nintendo Switch, and PS4 all in one swoop. Suddenly my problems don't seem so bad. Because <sighs> honestly, if I had a copy of Octopath 2, I'd feel like pretty, pretty complete in life. Actually, I, I'd like my guinea pigs as well, but they just can't live here. They, I don't have the space for them. I live in a tiny cupboard right now. But if I ever get the space, I've been told that I can have some of them, which is nice. So I need to get the space so I can have my guinea pigs back. I just by the fact that I'm sitting here whining and complaining, we're still on pretty good terms, the two of us. <laughs> like, it's not... <laughs> It really wasn't that bad. Next time I get paid, I'll play Black. I'll buy Black Blackfire too, just because I want to have the shiny charm. You'd have to complete the national decks, though. Is that worth doing? That's fine. Oh, okay. Well, that's me told. It's chill. Oh, okay. Is your friend action replay gonna? Yeah, <laughs> did not an emulator. PK Hex sliding into the club. Better to be on good terms than bad terms? Exactly, right? That's Otherwise I wouldn't be able to see the guinea pigs at all and stuff. And I wouldn't be able to still call it a friend. I do took my copy of Octopath 2, but a friend nonetheless. Can't relate. Oh. It's Pride Month. I shouldn't be talking about my. Shouldn't be talking about my gay ex. I should be talking about gay gay currents. Who's 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 gay this June? Who's 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 up being LGBT?
<laughs> I'm never off, I'm sitting down. Are you sitting down right now? <laughs> you don't you don't watch my streams while you stand? In Pokemon at nearly 1 a.m. queer enough? Uh no. Straight people play Pokemon too. The coolest Twitch layer. I don't know if I'm allowed to say who it was made for, so I won't risk it. Now you got me curious. I'm gay, Pam, but still gay. I'm Pan too, Pocky. I knew we were close. We have the same flag. That's kind of eight ways to do it at night, other than sleep. You got me there, actually. You got me there. Let me show you the layout if you want. What? How? Uh, okay, describe it to me. That's your challenge. What makes it cool? Sell it to me. Sell it to me. What makes it the coolest layout? I can play Minecraft. That's definitely straighter feeling. I've never played Minecraft in my life. What are the flags that we've drawn so far for the Pokemon from memory? I forget. We have... We have Pan. Gen... A-gender. A A-gender. Lesbian flag, asexual. No, that's aromantic. Sorry, uh, that's a gender. I clicked on the wrong ones. And back to hell they all go. <sighs> Until tomorrow, they'll be back tomorrow. I just wanted to verify what they all wear. Need a Lottie Minecraft stream? I don't even own it. Just oh wait, no, hold up. Okay, when I s right, I meant. <laughs> See, the issue is that I immediately know what you're mean that I can't just say. Uh, I I was referring to my drawings. <laughs> Let's just move on. It's animated, kind of sparkles effect, border on the DS through DS. The background is the actual gameplay of the DS, but blurry and dark, and it has leaves on it with a Pokemon you're hunting, hiding behind the leaves. Okay, that is actually pretty cool sounding. You sold it to me. Good job. Successful sales pitch. Is Xerneas the gayest Pokemon? Um... I feel like the gayest Pokemon is probably something like Machoke, right? Like, he's just not told anyone yet, but he's really gay. Xerneas and X and Y at the moment. Well, how, how, gay, how gay is Xerneas on a scale of 1 to 10? I guess 0 to 10, huh? Using a shiny lock removal patch. You know, I'm glad that you know to do that because I was just completely like, oh, you're hunting Xerneas next to my okay. And if you had not known it was shiny locked, and I had not known it was shiny locked, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to help you. Say Pixelmon is more fun when you get used to it. Isn't that like super complicated? I vaguely remember watching Pixelmon videos on YouTube as a child. It's like you've got to craft your Pokeballs out of apricorns and stuff, right? Hmm. 
Male Sylveon is totally a fanboy. <laughs> These are the male Sylveon facts we didn't know we needed. Look, male Sylveon's just very confident in his gender, okay? He's living it up where no one else is. I love Pixelmon, but yeah, it's tricky. Like, as someone who knows- I know literally nothing about Minecraft. Right, I feel like that needs to be kept in mind. I know. Nothing about Minecraft. Like, okay, what I know about Minecraft is you punch trees, you mine diamonds, you fight the Ender Dragon. If there's more in there, I don't know about it. Eight O, oh. five two. Uh, that that's that's the number of feet in a mile. Five thousand two hundred eighty, right? Yes, five two eight O. Oh. Did I do it? Did I remember something about America's awful imperial system? <laughs> Basics of Minecraft is wood to stone to iron to diamond and recently netherite. <laughs> Diamonds not even cool anymore. Well, I know nothing. Have you tried Pokewilds? I've never even heard of it. I'm sorry. I don't really do a lot of Pokemon fan stuff. I guess. I'm very recently into that sort of thing. Came out to my new King Kong brother. He took it surprisingly well. Didn't believe me at first, since we was best friends when we were kids. Went different ways. But <laughs> he brought us back together again. Your King Kong brother? What? Book Wilds is amazing. Book Wilds is sick. Best fan made game. I've n I've literally never heard of it. Step away for a while, but I'm back. Welcome back, Morgan. If I'm still allowed to call you that. I went on myself as a Minecraft child and remembers being screaming excited at finding diamonds. I, 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 I just, I can't believe diamonds aren't even the top anymore. I don't, I don't know what to think. Diamonds are just mid now. think all these Swedish druggies say? <laughs> what does it mean? Inflation? Yeah. Minecraft diamonds are not immune to- I'm not immune to inflation. You are not immune to netherite propaganda. Um, I might not go the full five hours. We might go until 5555 instead. We're not gonna hit that exactly. But if Pokemon Leaf Green said that's when we get the shiny, I'm feeling a bit off today, I won't lie, I'm not quite on my game. That might be a better spot to end off, rather than just going for the five hours. So Something doesn't feel right about me today. I don't know what it is. King Kong is the- I, Okay, I know who King Kong is, but why is your friend King Kong? <laughs> Boss stuff. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter if you don't do any of that stuff. Wait, are there more bosses now after the Ender Dragon? Looks like you don't all four of your games. I mean my mental health game. I don't know. Something feels wrong, and I wish it didn't. <laughs> 
It's the lack of ears. Wait, you're so right, it might be. Have you eaten? I've eaten, yeah. I ate before streams. I always eat before stream. Uh, no, I didn't used to. Sometimes I would forget, and then during stream I'd be like, oh, crippling hunger. But now I always eat before stream. Swedish rapper sings about drugs called Stoner's King Kongs. It's okay. I, okay. It's, it's definitely like a colloquial thing, but I, I, I won't pretend that it doesn't make some sense from that context, right? Sometimes words are just made up by random people. Is it possible to cure yeehaw addiction? Please, Lord Lottie? Yeehaw addiction? New really strong anime? That's the newest update. I guess I'll find out one day, huh? All words are made up by random people? Not true, actually. Some of them have existed since before people were even a thing. What's wrong? The tank is 119 gallons. I did my maths wrong. That's pretty close to the number you said before, no? Some words were taught to humans by the aliens, yes. Okay, but then the aliens just made them up, right? I was just trying to be vague and stupid. I said 118. That's that's pretty close. I don't think the fish will mind having the extra gallon, right? If anything, the fish is hyped. Fish can't wait. <laughs> What to try and make you explain the thought. <sighs> this is what I mean. I'm not on my game today, right? My bits don't make any sense. They're not funny. They don't go anywhere. I don't know. I'm quite proud of myself, though, for the fact that even on, like, a, a bad mental health day, we're still gonna have, like, a four and a half hour stream, right? Terrify people with Scottish Thor? I've never done that. I've never done that. I've never done that. It never happened. That's not real. That didn't happen. We don't talk about that anymore. I will literally never acknowledge that happening ever again. If there's one thing I can do for you, it's that. <laughs> I'll just pretend it wasn't real, okay? I will never acknowledge it. Still a double, yeah? Gaslight Geeky Girl Boss? Exactly. I do all those things. You know, it'd actually be really cool if we got the shiny at 5555, huh? You know what? No. We're gonna do one over, whatever that would be. We're gonna do one extra one, just in case I've counted wrong at some point. And then we'll end it there. So that'll be... 5560. 5560 is where we're gonna end off today. If and that suits y'all. Actually, it doesn't really matter. I could just end stream whenever the hell I wanted, but... Go sleep. Glad I stayed here after getting dropped in by a raid because it's been enjoyable. I, I I am famously very enjoyable. Yeah. Sleep well, Charm. May your fatty rides go smoothly. No little girls got cooked for being stupid and wanted to skip. Gotcha. I have literally no idea what that's even in reference to. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. I don't get the joke. See, I'm, I'm always wait just in case the sparkle only appears after candy pops out. In case you wondered why I take so long after seeing all the Mewtwo. Do I know Yeti Crab Pokemon though? That's unironically, like, awesome stuff to know. I'm gonna look at Crabominable's walking animation after this stream.
posture, boundless positivity was just lovely. You were hyped about everything. It was great. Rest well, okay? Do you think you? <laughs> Pretty bad. <laughs> That's not really something I would say is in my skill set on account of the fact that I've never done it. And most likely never will. Be surprised if my life suddenly took a massive shift to the point where that was a thing that I did. Nah, I don't have like I'm pretty dexterous. Don't be wrong, but I can't tie knots and stuff, so I don't see what I, I don't know what there is to not to get wrong about that, right? But but I don't and I <laughs> such an odd question. I don't know anything about it. You don't be netting? No, I don't net or anything. No. <laughs> At least specific question. It really caught me off guard. Yeah. Did rolling one? It was on my mind. Are you just trying to ask for help? Not your first one tonight. <laughs> not your first one rolled, or not my first weird question. Testing your confidence? I'm not very confident in myself or my abilities, I won't lie. Ba, ba, ba. I'd only do weed if it was edibles. Uh, they're all, it's all the same, right? I see weed stops because the sleep he's hitting. It's 1 a.m., Robin! It's 1 a.m. <sighs> Again, I guess I shouldn't be sending you to bed if we only have 200 encounters left to go, right? It's only 50 resets. It'll be instant. I said, oh, we're only going to go until we get that. That might literally take the full five hours. Smoke that would kill me from sensitivity to anything. Are you a bird? Wait, hold on. Like, I started the sentence, and then before I said bird, I was like... <laughs> I think I finished it anyway. <laughs> Net zero question, honestly. Do you walk into things like birds flying to my windows? I used to do that all the time as a child. I remember distinctly walking into things like multiple times because I was walking with my uh, Game Boy Color. Like just in front of me and I'd just be walking around like that and I would just walk into like walls <laughs> and stuff. Her thing took a beating. Did I just reset? I didn't even do a Mewtwo that time. I just reset all three games. I zoned out. Our names do seem to be pretty spot on. <laughs> Rookity is a bird. I'm a fruit. Lottie is Lottie. Lottie is Lottie. I am nothing if not Lottie. Thoughts on cowboys? Smash. <laughs> Unironically, what do you want from me? I don't know. They're... <laughs> a 
cool hats, I guess. Cowboys, but like cat boys. Ooh. I won't lie, I've never known a cat boy. Never met one. Never once. Actually, I guess I did once know a cat fanboy, huh? But he wasn't like a nice guy. Ir irrelevant of him being a cat fanboy. I think I'd like a cat boy. Cats, nice guys. I don't think cat boys are cats. They're just boys that have like cat ears and they're very good cat tail. Loads of warm tea, I'd wager. That's true. I don't know, cats have always just kind of liked me, though. Cats, cats like me regardless of whether they're like friendly cats or anything, yeah? All cats are friends of Guinea Lottie. Hedgehog person? Where? The cats and the nice guys don't get along, but nice guys and cats could be the same. <laughs> what kind of headcanon are you crying about cats here? Gosh, I don't know if I should trust cats anymore. We're shiny. Orpheus, what are you? What do I describe you as? I almost called you a medical professional earlier, and that's not accurate, right? But you're also, like, the only medical person I know, so what, what, what are you medical-wise? Can I call you my medical advisor? Also, I don't know where the shiny is. Um, actually, I do know where the shiny is. Uh, Pokemon Leaf Green said the shiny will be here at 5,555 encounters. So, we're gonna go until that tonight, and then we're gonna end off there. 1am right? No, I mean like I think you're getting I think you're getting somewhere with that point, right? I just don't know where you're getting. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. Medical supervisor for insurance purposes is what you should call them. I, I think medical advisor is just a uh, vaguer. I'm your virtual best friend who happens to know a lot about medicine. Are you my best friend, Orpheus? I don't remember us deciding that as partners. Um, it feels like a decision that you've made without me. But. But I, I, I'm honored. I'm honored to be seen that way. I had no idea you liked me so much. Drop medical and just leave advisor so it's even more vague. Yeah, Orpheus is my advisor. Um, actually, Orpheus is my virtual best friend who happens to know a lot about medicine. That's how I would describe them. Because there are such nice guys who wouldn't be friends with cats, but genuinely nice guys could have cat vibes or dog vibes depending on personality. <laughs> Damn, Riggity, I need what you're smoking. <laughs> no, 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 hold up, hold up. Let Robin cook. Question, where shiny being responded to with can I call you my medical advisor is pretty cool. That's actually fairly common in the shiny hunting community. That's pretty ordinary. It's pretty standard stuff. 
We're all medical advisors to each other. I don't believe it. You shouldn't. I said it. It's definitely garbage. Yeah. I'm stuck in a drinking game, so I apologize for any transgressions. <laughs> Why is everyone out of it tonight? Chat, I, am I the only sober one here? I can smell what the rookity is cooking. I, I personality the analams. Sober, Ravane. Come with me and we can hide in the bunker together. Oh god, not turnip boy. Never mind. There's no hiding in the bunker. <laughs> Never mind. No one, no one would be sober and, and then send me a turn boy emote. No one would ever do that. Take a shot every time Lottie resets. The challenge is to survive the hospital trip. Sober as well? Okay. 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 We have a few. We have a few. We have a few sobers in chat. That's good. That's good. We outnumber them. Get this in a tire? No, I do the same. Um, sometimes people- so I have medication that I take before I go to sleep. And if I don't go to sleep and I stay up, I tend to just get very, very... dozy. Is that the word? No, it's not. Um... Deezy? Doozy? Drowsy! Um... Loopy. Loopy and drowsy. Yes. Thank you. Uh, and people will just get messages from me that are like, all lowercase, no punctuation, and also full of typos. Because I will suddenly realize that the most important things in the world must be shared. And then I'll wake up the next morning and I can't read what I've sent. ADHD gang. <sighs> I don't... I don't know what to say in response to that. My, my brain's like, come on, think of a bit. And it's like, I, you can't think of a bit. But, but I read it out now. I have to say something. The same thing sometimes. I consider it a gift to future me. Puzzle to think about. <laughs> Oh, true. I should see it that way. I could just do, like, Sudoku instead, but I prefer that. I prefer the madness. Stands for... Ah, day! He has disappeared! This music is gonna knock me out. I know, right? Where's the upbeat beach music? It's supposed to be upbeat beach music to knock your socks off. Okay, the next one's gonna knock your socks off. Don't leave green, it's gonna get shiny tangle in next reset, just feeling it. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know about that one, though. Nothing here. <gasps> Shiny Tangela! Oh my god! That's crazy!
I'm just knocking my me off. Sounds like a euphemism, but I can't figure out what it would really mean. <laughs> laugh at my own jokes. Ah, but your jokes are funny, so that just makes logical sense, right? You look an eye and I thought it sounded off too. Yeah, it just, it sounds like, it sounds like a euphemism. But I genuinely can't figure out what it would, what it would ever mean. Knocking my me off. He's having a great time. I'm so here for it. We do love the vibes, right? Everyone deserves to be having a good time. Even I'm having like an alright time here. Like I'm having a good time, I would say. Like I can have a good time and have not the best mental day. Like those two things can coexist, you know what I mean? I can still have a good time. Sometimes something like this is exactly what you gotta do when you're not having the best mental day, you know? Streaming, hanging out, hunting Mewtwo. Do it meds though, I've been thinking about that for a while. Do it, do it right now, right now, do it, do it, do it, right now, do it, do it, right now, right now, do it, do it, do it right now, right now, do it right now, right now, do it, do it right now, right now, right now, do it, do it right now, right now, do it right now, right now, right now, do it. No shiny until you take your meds. If there's one thing that really helps people take their meds, please, for the love of God, do it. Please, make Lottie shut up. If there's one thing that helps me do stuff and I'm really struggling, it's someone um, yelling in my ear repeatedly to do it. I find that that's, that always really helps me. You know what I mean? Did it, Proudy? <laughs> Thankfully, streamers come with a mute button. Okay, I've unmuted myself now. And go back to it. I was considered torture by some nations, but what do I know? I'm just a name on a screen. Are you literally just a name on a screen? I assumed there was like a person behind the screen at the other end, but no? In fact, if you sleep in, you can't take some meds or you won't sleep the next night. That's not fun. You've, you've misunderstood what the term fun fact means. That wasn't fun at all. Five, four, five, six. Okay, a hundred encounters left to go. I'm the type of person that tell me to do something that actually helps me get something done. Oh, there we go. I helped. I assisted. Yeah, we're gonna be going for the full five hours, huh? Remember when I was like, oh, we'll end early once we hit five, 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 five. <laughs> that was cute. I was so innocent and small back then. I really believed such things. Because I have to say, I need a shower to actually do it. 
That's relatable, though. I'm the kind of person who it's like... If I have something later on in the day, I struggle to do anything earlier in the day. Like, if I have something, like, if I have an appointment at 4pm and I wake up at 10am, day's forfeit. I can't start anything, I need to be ready for 4pm. streaming for longer than five hours but you prohibited it i did prohibit it i'm not having a very good mental health day so i was like oh we'll end stream early once we hit five 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 but it looks like that's gonna be the full five hours anyway so like you're getting more out of me than i intended i'm not feeling great today beep, 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 beep. Well, i think your medical advisor says you should stream longer Okay, I don't... I don't know if I should trust my medical advisor anymore. My medical advisor has alcohol poisoning. I don't think I should trust my medical advisor at all. Hopefully they don't yet. Well, fingers crossed, right? Okay, stop steaming. Why did you say steaming both times? I don't want to steam. Like, in Scotland, being steaming means that you're drunk. Oh, I'm pure steaming, so I am. Praying for you. Boils, Lottie, please don't boil me. You know the Scottish language has 50 words for being drunk? Like, steaming is a slang term, not a language term. But that is true, yeah. Y'all say spuds? Uh, no. Potatoes. Or, well, actually, if you're... A, 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 it's a true... A true Scottish person would say tatties, I guess. But you'll never catch me doing that. I don't really like Scots. I'm gonna be real. Tatties sounds like titties. Tatties. Titties. Not really. Not in a Scottish accent, at least. I've actually never made that connection in my life, even. Might just be a, might just be a you problem, I don't know. In a perfect world, perhaps. Would really, really change what meeps and tatties would actually be, huh? Probably a 1 a.m. brain problem. Hey, it happens, right? We've all had 1 a.m. brain before. Hey, Orpheus, how drunk are you right now? gonna be blasted. I'm just wondering if they're drunk enough to donate $50 to the Campaign for Southern Equality. Can I get drunk people to donate to charity and <laughs> regret it later? <laughs> Every single person outside of Scotland has made, <laughs> has made a nips and titties joke the first time they heard nips and tatties. I've literally never heard that. That's a chaotic good option. I am chaotic good. I'm actually probably more chaotic neutral, let's be real here, but... I'm definitely chaotic. I'm definitely on the chaotic spectrum. 
or the chaotic side of the spectrum, rather. You know, I say stuff that makes no sense, I'm weird, I punch policemen. do that last part. <laughs> You'd love to hear it. Yeah, I, I don't I don't I don't do that. Definitely do that last part. <laughs> the only interactions I've ever had with having the police called on me, they were very nice to me. But the second time they were called on me, they were specifically like um yeah, you probably don't want to talk to us, you know. A cab and all that. Got those nasty pigs at your door. It's like, hey, at least you're self aware, right? Chaotic evil, according to a friend who played D&D, because I'd take down the governments violently if he died in a flood. Is that evil? I mean, if the two are, like, related, maybe you could get somewhere from it. If the two aren't related, I'm just confused. If you die in a flood, mate, if you die in a flood, I will take down the government. I promise. It's related? Are the government causing the flood in this theoretical scenario? Like, what's the what's what's happening here? Why is why why does it got to be a flood? Is climate change? I guess that does happen. Yeah. Is your friend a penguin? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Oh, you know, I, I removed the politics tag because I figured the politics stuff was going to come up, like punching policemen over the course of Pride Month. Uh, I removed the no politics tag, rather. So I can say this. I've always found something mildly entertaining about the fact that Florida is like just gonna stop existing if climate change keeps up and yet the people of Florida <laughs> consistently and majority wise don't believe it's a real thing like I beg ye <laughs> open your eyes you are sinking Florida and Australia, weirdos who will try. <laughs> Orpheus, I beg you to make that your first message in a random streamer's chat. Give it no context whatsoever. Australia, weirdos who will drown. What an unhinged thing to say with no context. Denmark is flat. Denmark is very flat. That's what my friend Richard from Denmark always said. He's like, oh yes, it's very flat. I was like, can you see across the whole country? He was like, no. But he did say that the highest point in Denmark is basically when you stand on top of your desk. Watching the fighting game steamer? What is it with you in the steamers? I like, I can't do that to them, otherwise I'll never be able to play the hot lady. A Richard from Denmark? The, ste the steamers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pure steamer, so I am. Uh, yeah, he was a Richard from Denmark. I guess I've maybe narrowed him down a bit too much, but well, can't be that many Richards from Denmark. Whoopsie. Teenage <laughs> dick. <laughs> I 
Oddly, he never really cared much for that, um, that shortening. And Ryan, they should say it like Ricard. He said it like Ricard. Um, but, like, or rather, his family did, but when, while he was in Scotland, he just went with Richard. Because that was, like, the anglicized way of saying it. Like, I'm pretty sure his name was actually Ricard. My Danish bread only eats rye bread and milk. Actually, okay, once he was describing these things to me, he was like, oh, they've got these things in Denmark um, that, like, they don't have here, which is really upsetting. And I was like, okay, describe them. And he was like, okay, so it's, they've got, like, a, a sort of biscuity base, and then they've got, like, a sort of cream on top of them, and then they're, like, they're, like, round and they're, they're coated in chocolate, and all that's, like, inside the chocolate. And I was like, I don't really know what that is. I can't really understand what you're trying to describe to me there. And he pulled up a picture, and what he showed me was a Tunnock's tea cake. And I don't know if those are exclusively a thing in, like, Scotland, or if they're known in England too, like the rest of the UK. But this is the equivalent to me of him having tried to describe something to me, not been able to, and shown me some bagpipes. And been like, yeah, they don't have them here. It's like, Yes, they do. They are in every single shop. They are- you cannot move for tea cakes. Floodballer? Um... No. Ooh, Floodballer. Uh, I- I can't remember what it was called, but if you look up Tonic's tea cake and it looks like that, then yes. Me and my German friend used to make fun of him from that point onward. We'd be like, oh, you know, I, I really want... She'd be like, oh, I really wanted this thing from Germany, but they just don't have it here. It's sort of like milk that you chew. Um, you put it on sandwiches and it's like yellow, but they don't they don't have it here. <laughs> we never really let that one go, because it's like, they sell them in the shop that you shop at all the time. And it is a tiny little corner store. They have them on the shelf. Shiny Celebi, thank you very much for the fall. I'm glad that my English German accent won you over. Never mind, it's not the same. It was look, I can't I can't remember what he called them, but they basically just looked like tall tea cakes. I had to go bake some pizza. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good night, Morgan. We only have three resets left after this. So we're almost done here today. Oh no, then it is? Oh, okay, then yeah. <laughs> so are they similar? Or or did he have a genuine reason to say that? I just never some texture. Okay, maybe he was right. Should we get it in three? Ahabs! Hi. Hello, Shiny Celebi. I will always wave back. People send wave emotes. I will always do it. And for a last minute shiny Krabby, hold up. Biz quit. I'm sad to hear that Biz quit. I really liked working with her. How have you been, Ahabs? You'll have to talk fast. You don't have long. What stickers we got? We got Electivire, we got Pichu, and we got, um, Snob. Okay. The shiny was prophesied to be here. Okay? Now, I did say we'd do one encounter after this one. Just in case I got the number wrong at one point. But the shiny was prophesied by Pokemon Leaf Green itself to be here. At 5555. Five, five, five. So it should be the third one that appears on screen. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. But we can still try one more, because I did say we'd try one more. 
I really thought, by the way. I re like, I don't know. I deluded myself into believing it. It was said with such confidence. Five, 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 five? That was so specific and precise. You know, at this point, I may as well do the full five hours, right? It's literally ten minutes. It's literally ten remaining minutes. Why would I stop now? At this point, I literally might as well do the remaining ten minutes. There is no reason to stop right now. I'll do it, okay? I'll do it for all of you. I'll do the remaining ten minutes. I'm built different like that. I'll go brush my bite bones. Always make sure to cleanse your bite bones. It makes them better at biting. My jaw hurts from talking. I have talked so much that my jaw hurts. Oh my god. Maybe tomorrow's stream is just a silent one, but I just sit there and smile at you. Cameron's <laughs> really zoomed in on the smile. That would be so eerie. But we learned the other day I can't smile very well. Don't look at me! teeth could bite through steel, I would do it. You know what I mean? Like, unironically, if I could bite through super hard surfaces, I would do it. I would, I would do that with my time. Like, I already love biting things. I actually used to wear, uh, like, a necklace that was called Chulery. Because I'm very neurotypical. Um, and it was basically like a necklace that was made of stuff that was designed to be really hard to chew through. But, like, soft enough that it still was not gonna hurt you. And it was to give you something to chew, and I tore right through that thing. It only lasted, like, two weeks. I'm still at it. Wait, look, only, only 10 minutes of a stream left, okay, Sean? Then we're out of here. Then we're all out of here. We can all go home. And by home, I do mean to someone else's stream, but, you know, home. Home is where the heart is. That's what they say. That's an interesting item. It was cool. I liked it. It was quite pretty, too. When it wasn't like it was designed to look like jewelry. I mean, they're des the annoying thing is you look them up and they're designed for like children. It's like, leave me alone. I'm like, am I playing D and D? So or, or D D B D? No, D and D. D B is right next to D, D but right next to N. It's definitely D and D. Want to see green cat in my peripheral? Fingers crossed, right? Oh my god, it's not D and D. Oh, I give up with life. Just like I read it wrong, and then I was like, well, no, B and N are right next to each other. It probably is D and D. It's not D and D. No, never. No one ever talked to me ever again. I, I, I don't deserve it.
Well, so the newest chapter is D&D. That, actually, that's what I was referencing. I, I knew that. That's what I was referencing. Dragon Ball Basketball? That's DBB. Actually, that's DBBB. Because basketball is BB, right? Or B ball. I think it wasn't a good bit anyway. I feel that. Dude bonded dad? Is that just a gay dad? So my favorite thing about the way that Cerulean Cave works in Heart Gold Soul Silver is that it's dark. And I actually stumbled through it in the dark. I didn't use Flash to get through it. But I wanted to take a picture of me standing next to Mewtwo in all four games, and I was like, oh. So I actually had to go and get Flash and go back through the cave anyway. <laughs> like I flat out just did not have a TM for it. So I did it for the um I, I, I did it for the screenshot. I did it for the tweet. I did it for the go live tweet. Dad bites to Dene? Why would Dad do that? That's kinda messed up of him. think or another we're gonna get to like a nice number um i'm actually i'm just gonna do three more resets and then end there i think that sounds good to me that feels like a decent place to leave it it's a random number it's three i've warned y'all in advance like it's a small enough number but it's like i'm feeling like winding down but the dedene deserved it what would a dedene do to deserve it they're just little hamsters I'm too high for the shiny to not show up. I know, right? Where's it been? For shame, it's almost like we're not even at odds. And that getting it at this point would be lucky. But that can't be right. We shocked him to be mean, so he bit it. Actually, that is pretty justified. I would bite an animal that electrocuted me. Okay, this is the final one then. Then we will raid out and stuff. So get excited. Here we go. Right here. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up though. And release. We did not get it today. Okay, hold on. I should probably I should do a picture for the uh, for tomorrow's screenshot. Something like that. I'll go back in the vod and get it. Should I dab? What's the cringiest thing I could possibly post on Twitter? It's got to be the dab, right? What if I just look normal? What, wait, what if I'm in like gamer mode? That should be good. I'll get something out of that. Okay, where did we get to? 5624. It's actually not that many resets. 5624. Okay. 
Let's raid her. Who are we raiding today? That is the real question on everyone's mind. Goodbye, Ravane. You shall be missed. Uh, for the stream. Thank you for being here, Charlotte. Night Lottie, night random skinwalker. Please don't steal my skin. Love your content as usual. I felt like today was kind of L, but thank you for that. Okay. Who are these people? <laughs> are any of these people actually playing Pokemon? Right, um... Ren like Lauren. Ren like Lauren. You're playing Pokemon. That'll do for me. You're playing Pokemon. Ren like Lauren. Before that, though, let me link my Discord and my YouTube. Uh, the YouTube, there will be a couple of videos from things that have happened from Pride Month. They'll be coming soon-ish, but we're prob it's probably going to be about a week until they start, which is... Not ideal, but oh well, sometimes life gets in the way of your editors, and they have things to do. Uh, oh well. But as soon as videos start, generally, they're gonna become like weekly on there for a while, for like six or seven videos. Um, yeah. So stuck on the DVD? Get stuck on the DVD. Right. Ren like Lorne. Dinner break? No way! For how long? How long's the dinner break? No! I need to find someone else. <laughs> Poke fruits. I've. Uh, sure. Poke fruits. Who are poking the fruit? Am I right? Who are poking the fruit? Okay. Four times shiny hunts. Hey, that's what I'm doing. Right. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. I appreciate people sticking around the raid for the. I appreciate people sticking around for the raid. It's obviously not like mandatory, but nice to say hi to people, right? It's nice to continue to. This is consider this also supporting the charity, supporting the event, stuff like that. Um, I don't have a raid message. But if you're subscribed to me, then there are there is a raid emote that exists. Or, or you can just put any emote. What we've just been saying is happy pride. Just happy pride. Um, yeah, happy pride with emotes on either side. That's all I've got to say to you. I've dropped my links. Thank you all for being here. I'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully feeling a little bit better than I am today. And yeah, have a good one. Okay, it, it just stopped playing the the preview thing. I thought my internet died. <laughs> we're good, we're good. Right, have a good one. See ya.